YouTube? We are on YouTube. All right. Good evening. Good Friday evening. Church is rocking. Mike Geary is here. Blindmike.net. Yes, thank you. Go subscribe right now. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> What's the matter? No, you're welcome. I'm just saying you're welcome. <laughs> I appreciate it. Listen to the Chevy Chase episode. It's very good. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> you're polite in your old age. My old age? Yes. <laughs> What's happening? What was your Chevy Chase? What was your what was the issue I had before we get to the fifty thousand things we have going on in the Please. show right now? What was insult it? It was, me. No, it wasn't an insult. The only Take man on your side here. Take it easy. It was uh I forget. It was actually a decent point you made. Oh, okay. It, could, no, it can't be that. Could it be that? No, maybe not. It doesn't seem like that's right. No. Oh, you know what it was as a kid. So Mike's uh, last episode was free, but you go to Patreon right now, you get all your stuff. That's right. Uh when I was a kid, I loved Chevy Chase movies. Uh, um, starting with like seems old, seems like old times with with Goldie Hawn, uh, Caddyshack, Fletch, Fletch is my favorite, my favorite Chevy Chase. Of course, movie. yes. And you play that Tarantino clip, which is so true, which yeah. is why I like Chevy Chase more than Bill Murray. Tarantino articulated perfectly. Uh, Three Amigos, all that stuff. But what uh, you said was true to me, even as a kid. So I would read these stories about how Carson would have these poker games, um, and like Steve Martin would be there. Uh, Chevy would be there. Carl Reiner would be there. Letterman would be there. And everyone you, everyone in the room said Chevy Chase was the funniest guy at those things by far. Oh, really? But I would watch him even as a kid on like Letterman and Carson. I was like, he, he, like, he can't really like tell a fucking story. It wears on you. And yeah. I think it's like he's, I it's think he's guy. doing a bit. I think it's almost on I think it's almost purpose. Like a tick. I don't know. But I find that even, that's why like everyone was like, oh, he's a no brainer for late night TV. I was like, even back then, I was like, that's not going to work. Right. Well, it's when, as you were telling that story, when you said he was at these poker games, I thought you were going to say they were all annoyed by him. No, they were always it like, like... If I was with that guy all the time, I'd be like, oh, yeah. we, got the, we get the joke. We got it. Yeah. But anyway, so they go in depth. Uh, 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 Mike does, and my buddy Matt fills in for Craig. That's right. Well, I'm yeah. a huge fan of. Massive. Well, as am I, but he's gone. I don't have him anymore. What do you mean? He's dead? His wife's got a uterus tumor that she's got to pump oh, out. Oh, is that true? Week. Yeah, yeah. So he's off the show permanently? No, he'll be back when, you know, once oh. the kid can walk Wait, or something. Is that Matt like. who used to work at EDI? No, 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 no. no. Oh, that's Matt oh. the Marine. Oh, he's that, on a oh, much oh, bigger that, and better thing. Oh, well, I don't care about this guy and his wife. Who cares? <laughs> anyway, uh, I'll, be, I'll be tell you I story. meant having a kid, by the way. She's not sick. I understand. Yeah, okay. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations to them. I hope it goes well. Um, um, so, so I got my uh, head shaved this weekend. Ryan and I got our, uh, Ryan, Jesus, Harry and I got our head shaved together. So we, we, we went and played mini golf in Tewksbury and then drove to a place we like to have lunch in Bill Ricca. So halfway in the middle, we didn't got our, our hair was getting long and Ryan, uh, Jesus, Harry's was really long. And, uh, and so we got, uh, we drove by a barbershop that was essentially empty on the Saturday afternoon, which is unusual. So I thought, ah, we'll, we'll pull in and get our, our, our haircuts. So we, we parked the car, we go in there. Place is pretty empty. There's, there's three, t- uh, three, chairs you know one's empty in the middle there's an older woman on the left there's an older woman on the right and there's a guy getting his head shaved or a haircut on the right the woman takes harry the other woman and then i was going to follow so i'm sitting there and the guy next to uh, uh harry totally steals like my barber thunder oh, this really? guy is crazy loud and out of nowhere it goes you know i got ideas he's like i got so many ideas i can't even sleep at night <laughs> So me, I perk up. I'm like, I got to listen to this guy. Oh, he's not talking to you. No, no. He's okay, talking right. to the woman uh, cutting his hair. Yeah, yeah. He's like, for instance, he's like, he's like, I got like 50 sitcom ideas. Ooh. And she's like, okay, like what's one of them? He's like, I'll tell you right now. I'll tell you the, 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 the name of it. I can see it now. I think I might be perfect for this. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so he's like, so he's like, here's what the show is about. Uh, so like he's a guy because this guy as is, is he later tells us he talks nonstop all the way through uh, Harry's head shave and mine. Oh, it sounds like a lot of fun. This guy's an inventor. <laughs> yeah, this guy's yeah. patents by the way. Oh really? Yes, which perked me up. So this guy is lead character in the sitcom is an inventor, and his wife is essentially a total bitch. Which by the uh. way, as he tells his barber and, and 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 Harry and I, his wife in real life seems to be that from his story okay. as well. Well, it seems like the perfect sitcom. So form. he would he would walk up to something like I'm walking up to this Kleenex. Uh, box and you could see some kind of invention he would say out loud i can see it now <laughs> and his wife would walk in <laughs> and she'd say oh i can see it now too what a disaster it's gonna be oh and there were neighbors as well in the sitcom <laughs> and that was the entire sitcom i can see it now that's not just a guy you don't think that's a guy projecting saying my wife squashes all my, that. all my dreams <laughs> but he said he's got he said he has invented 40 things 
uh, but still works 80 hours a week, and it's his wife keep, wow. keeping him down. Yeah, that's pretty good. He said, he said, he said, I'm the balloon, and my wife is the anchor. And if my wife died, I would just fly away into the sky. But if I died, she'd be stuck to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Was Harry at any point like this? Seems a little childish. I like Harry's. I like, so I was done with. I, I was. I so I was done, and I walked out. I was like, Harry, was that weird? And he's like, I could see it now. It was really weird. He's like, <laughs> he's like, that seems like a bad show. So I don't know. I love that whoever that guy is. If he's a fan of mine, which I don't think he is, he's welcome to sit in that third chair anytime. It pitches a sitcom idea. That's big if he has patents though, because that's more than just a guy who True. says like, uh, you know, it would be great if I had a, could just push a button and a TV comes from True. the ground. You know, I was walking in here right now. I was looking at my text and I saw. I texted myself and I said, I can see it now. It's like, oh shit, I forgot about that. <laughs> I have to start the show with it. I can see it now. So we have other more, I guess, more important things than I can see it now to get into. Oh. But uh, we could start, Dave. Dave Cullinane. Uh, with the light shining on your bald head in the dark. It almost looks more bald at night <laughs> that's now. It's not true. Oh, that's true. Are they, you praying, for you, dark are they praying for you next door or no? Uh, they're pro- hopefully they're praying for me yes. anyway, regardless. Yeah. Well, where would you like to start? Because we have very many things to get to here. You can start wherever you deem fit. Oh, I, go I, ahead. I, I think uh, Content Kim's most recent tweets were appalling. If I've ever, did you see these? Did you say Content? Uh, content I, Kim, the mother I, of I, Alex I, Bennett. Oh, I say I say it a different way. But pronounce go ahead. it differently. Yeah, I do. What did she have to say? <laughs> uh, she referred to you as a six-year-old man living a hateful life. Sixty-year-old man. Just fifty-five short minutes ago. That's halfway true. <laughs> I'm not 60 yet to live a hateful life. Uh, that was, was any humor attached to this or no? I don't know about that. Let me I see. Know. Obviously, I don't follow her. Yeah. Well, it's an odd route to take. Does she make cookies for the whole audience, for the whole, for the office? She's kind of an old bag herself, no? Well, I would just say, like, you know, I don't know. Like, uh, look, everything's at play. I got no problem with it. But Alex Bennett, went, yeah. Alex Bennett went from sending apologies to, like, totally doing a wrestling move here. Mm-hmm. Like, it's out. Yeah, well, you way, forced her hand in that. Yeah, by the way, I would just so. say, like, you know, you want to you use my mental health as a punchline guy and knock yourself out? It's hurtful. I'll just say it's, you know what? I mean, she looks like she's about 60. Well, that's but, what I'm saying. Uh, yeah. I mean, with that. No, I'm talking about uh, Alex. Oh, Alex. Alex. That hideous, <laughs> hideous peroxide. Like, God, that face that could, you know, stop traffic in a bad way. I don't know. Let me see <laughs> I don't here. see well. Uh, what's her Twitter handle? Just Alex Bennett. Why were we hired? What is it? <laughs> content came with a K. Remember, they were, they were content. Wait, what was their thing? KKK it was content. Yes, Kim. coffee with content. Coffee with oh, content. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, one of the great marketing. Here it is. Okay, she got a terrible golf tweet. I don't see it. Is it tweets and replies? Uh, yeah, tweets and replies. It's off the one that says uh, "time to check yourself back in." Oh, sorry for what? You didn't pick your team. You don't have hate, and you are the person I have in my team over anyone else. You got it. I love you. Time to check yourself back in. Sixty-year-old man living a hateful life. It's got to be so weird to have your mom working for the company. So strange. Still time to delete this. <laughs> Imagine if ever, when you would make opposite. fun of my mom if my mom was replying on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be funny. I'm not Actually, a drunk, I've never had asshole. any sex with those people. Hey, let's be honest. Like, we'll have fun. Like, yeah, right. yeah, I'm in the grill. <laughs> like, yeah, no kidding. We'll have fun. Like, I'll, I'm going to go down there this week. Cupcake's going to beat the shit out of uh, Alex Bennett. Sure. You are going. But like, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm going to be there. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why? I'm just making sure. Oh, I'm there. I'm I healthy. It's I lovely ran, in West Virginia. I ran this morning. My ankle's healthy as can be. Um, like, I'm not really sure. I mean, I mean, we can have her on, I guess, if she'd like to join us. Sure. I'll reach I played mini golf with her. She seemed like a nice person. Okay. I don't know. So she thinks I'm full. She's responding. Did she just find out about this thing? Uh, I don't know. She Maybe she well, just. Well, the old timers have a That's true. <laughs> it takes you know how a while. they use Twitter. They go, it comes in bunches. Yeah, right? I mean, so it just feels like Alex Bennett feels like the Brandon Walker School of Force. Like, I hate her. Like, she did a dumb thing. She apologized for it. I chose not to accept it. So now she's going the only route Mike, Mike said she can. I guess her mom, I don't, I don't know. I don't understand. I, I don't, I don't quite understand. Like she's defending her daughter. I, I guess that's okay. Right. Sure. You know, I'll provide them some content, I guess. I mean, Alex Bennett doesn't do her mom's podcast anymore because she's too busy training for a fight. Is that right? <laughs> that is that's right. right. Yes. Okay. Keep yeah. in mind, I did like morning radio and ran the Boston Marathon the same day. I did shows with COVID. I did shows in South Carolina with Steve while Kevin Mayo was trying to, you know, hunt us down. Which I, I remember people tagging me in this at the time. Obviously, I didn't care because I don't didn't really know either mm-hmm. of them. But they they did some podcast where they got in like a big fight and then deleted the audio, and everyone was like, "We want to hear that." Oh, is that true? We don't want to hear you. Oh, I t- know yeah, that. I guess there was some scrubbed. Oh, so they delete audio. Well, they have no surprise. This is the new bar. Like I said, there's new bar stool. There's old bar stool. Even though I'm newer to bar stool than some, I have the old bar stool attitude. Right. And I'm really about. I'm, you're looking. If you like the old bar stool, this is it. Like, this is it. You're not going to get anywhere else. You get a bunch of people occasionally have a TikTok video, gets 3 million views or whatever, and then they hire them. 
Then they find out that yeah. they're, they're the ability to host a podcast or a talk show. Mm-hmm. That's Barstool. I was going to say that Jeff D'Lo may have unknowingly split the company down the middle, but it seems more like, you know, to the far left. Yeah, everyone hates me. <laughs> One it's, direction. I like I was Mr. Barstool for a while. All I did was try and promote Alex's stupid thing. Like, you know, and she fucked. I defended her a couple months ago, had her back, and sure then I defended did. her here, and like, then she fucked up. The idea, I saw this idiot Kim, this fucking bag of bones, yeah. uh, you know, uh, saying that she didn't pick her team. You, I have done this. You pick your team. You can say no whenever you want. She chose not to. No problem. And now, you know, she's got her own team. She's got that, you know, asshole now as her general manager. Good luck. So, you know, one of the worst people in the world, Gay Path. Wow. Who you couldn't have been. Well, he's off my Mount Rushmore of gay people. Let's be very. He's I, off? I, he's scr- oh, absolutely. Boy. Replaced by Joey Kamistina. Yes. One of my favorite gay guys. No, they, I like, I like, we'll get to Pat. I like Pat. I, I'm, oh, disa- you do. I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed in Pat. That's all. I'm I, was, I was a little surprised. You know, you disappointed you, in his lifestyle and disappointed in his decisions. You That's do remember sure, that yeah. Rico wanted to throw Pat aside one time. Yes. And, and who you, had his back? You had his back. As always. And now yep. Pat is throwing me, like everyone else is just throwing me. Kim, uh, Alex Bennett, all of them have just tossed me aside. Tossed me aside like Graham Bennett's father took a shit in the mouth of the great people of Seattle, Washington. <laughs> people killed themselves in Seattle because of what this man did. <laughs> Killed themselves. Is there are right? yeah, seven eight hundred suicides because the Supersonics aren't going to play basketball because uh, uh, what's the guy's name who owns a team? Uh, Who's the Bennett who owns a team? Alex's father-in-law. Uh, I have no idea his name. Well, he ripped yeah. the heart out of the people in Seattle. Much like Cupcake is going to rip the heart out of Alex. Literally rip the heart out of Alex. I saw Big Cat uh, say that he hopes Alex Bennett's going to die. I'm not saying. <laughs> wow. Did you see that, Dave? <laughs> Clay Bennett, apparently. Clay Bennett, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Clay Bennett. So uh, there you go. I did see this, yes. Yeah. I mean, Damn look, cats, look really? Clay, I mean, Clay Bennett essentially ended this. You, you see what Seattle's like now. There's homeless people. Oh, it's, yeah. been, it's, it's, you know, it's on fire. Yeah, Kevin Durant left. Seattle left. Supersonic's gone the heartbeat of the city. Clay Bennett was like, you know what? He went up to person by person in Seattle and said, fuck you. I don't care about you. I'm going to leave you. I'm going to go to Oklahoma fucking city. Meanwhile, the team hasn't won the championship. They've won the championship. They're losers. They're Bennett DNA losers all over the place. Right. You know, I know Graham Bennett's going to reach out to Twitter and these things all get taken down because that's what he does. <laughs> uh, it's a pussy family, you know? I mean, honestly, you could fit Clay Bennett, Alex Bennett, Content Kim, uh, her husband, their kids. You could all fit them in, in Graham Bennett's pussy. It sounds like he's... <laughs> Just deleting audio left and right, according to Dave Cullinane, right, Dave? Uh, there's some speculation. You could, you could fit Seattle in there. No question. You could fit Seattle slew in there. Right. You know? He didn't take I, him with him, though. Who? I'm saying if you fit him in there, he would, you know, expel them. Oh, you go one by one and be like, yeah. did you tweet anything negative? Get out of here. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. So, <laughs> you know, if, if Kim is defending her daughter, if it is her daughter, who knows? I will say, you know, I understand that. As a father, I understand that. But I will say one thing about uh, Catherine Moore in the hand. She'll be fucking stupid enough to turn her back. You know, just to somebody somebody has her back in, in a big spot, she'll have their back in the big spot. Right. That's the way I raise my daughter. I'll say this Content Kim is a dog shit mother. Wow. <laughs> she should have her kid taken away from her. <laughs> if Alex Bennett ever has a kid, which shouldn't happen, a, a Barstool, this, that's the first uh, a Barstool abortion fund that Dave should pay for. <laughs> right. Right. Should start <laughs> there. Right, yes. I will say this. Like, don't do, keep Kim away from their grandkids because she's, I can only imagine she'd be a horrific grandmother. She's a terrible mother. I mean, she, you got to learn a life lesson here. You know, if my daughter was like, hey, dad, uh, I'm going to uh, 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 take three months off from work to train for a fight. I'd be like, get the fuck out of here. Go work. A guy, a man is paying you. Now, now by the way, Dave Porter is worried about me. I work. I work. With, I lose my mind. I come back. I have COVID. I'm doing shows. I never stop working. Except when I take long breaks. Sure. Save for that. I'm here working. You have this woman, uh, Alex Bennett, saying to me, oh, go back. Do you mean go back to a mental hospital or try and kill myself? Is that, that what you're yeah, that what I, like, yeah, that's what I took it as. Right. Very hurtful. Yep. Very hurtful. I would yep. imagine so. Yep. But if I say anything about her, you know how it is. Then they, Because I, I, I treat women and men equally. I think already things you said today will be taken. And, oh, how could he do that? How, well, do, how could he say that about a woman? How could you, you say he's a, she's a bad well, mother? Well, I mean, who's going to have she, she is a bad mother. What do you want me to say? She's a terrible mother. I understand. We, but what I'm saying is they won't have any sympathy for her. Her saying, you know, go kill yourself, you crazy fuck. I'll tell you, we were playing mini golf that day, okay? In content, we were at one of the holes, and Content Kim said to me, a lot of times as a mother, when my kid was young, I thought about killing my daughter. Really? Yeah. Well, that's quite an admission. I hate that she said that. I, so, I hate that. I appreciate her that. honesty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's like, I hate this fucking podcast with this, this kid's a brat. <laughs> like, well, Kim, she's an adult. You got to take care of your own business. Right. And she's like, I hate her father in law when he did the people of Seattle. I was like, well, that's a different conversation. So, in a way, you kind of like her. 
Well, not anymore. Not to these right. cheap you shots. You like the honest term. 60 year not old the, man. Right. Not the part she's Give her credit, though. Mother Knows Best is a creative podcast title. That is that is. what it's called? Yes. Well, I, listen, I, it's, it's a good. Barstool podcast. I hope it does well. It's I like her other title better, frankly. What's that? Coffee with Content Kent. <laughs> that's better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's more. But, you know, I mean, uh, we know Cupcake is going to knock uh, Alex Bennett out. Like, she's going to get. I saw her workout tape the other day. You're going to knock her out. That was uh, that was after two hours of training, right? So yeah, she's worn down. Be, that get. was, you know, we're going to get a fresh cupcake on Friday And you're going to see all the, I saw that, I saw that, <laughs> I saw that tweet with all the nice people warm. on the, the people oh, on the God. chat with <laughs> Casey Smith, that drip and all these other girls like, oh, you go get her girlfriend. Like, fuck, you go all fuck yourself. Oh, yeah, I'm going to fuck her ex-husband. Yeah. Yeah. Who's going to defend cupcake? We're going to defend cupcake. Okay, yeah, right. You have a real right. person. It, this is old barstool versus new barstool. A new barstool crowd. Oh, nobody wants to hurt anybody's feelings. Oh, it's only OnlyFans. Oh, it doesn't matter if we have an audience. Oh, fuck. Go. All go fuck yourselves. Honestly, I tried to be nice for all. I tried to play nice. Let's face it. I'm the number one heel in the company. It starts here. It ends here. Everyone else just blows each other all day. Oh, you're great. Oh, you're everything. Oh, you're wildly talented. Oh, you all suck shit. <laughs> fuck off. Drop dead. I'll be there. You can all boo the shit out of me. I'll be there with Cupcake. Leading the way. First round knockout. There's only one. Riggs. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Riggs, Ryan Whitney, that's about mm, it. Mm, did you did you hear anything from Ryan Whitney? Or no, no? Well, Pick Whitney, I think, is part of the sponsorship. Yeah, that's that, tough. That was, that's that was done before everything. I can't get in the way of sponsorships. Okay, fine, I can't fine. get in the way of sponsorships. Fine. But, you know, like, and good luck. Good drink. I love Pink Whitney. I love, you know, I love Whitney. He's the greatest. Yes. So drink it all day. Go, go crazy on it. Um, but, yeah, we'll be there, and, and, you know, the company will hate us, and, you know, we'll do our thing. I, I, I try. I try. I try to say, I, you know, I promote everything. I try and be as nice as I can. And you get people, they turn your back, they turn their backs on you. That's fine. I'll Even if it's you. forced like Alex Bennett or Kim and whatever, and you know, good luck. Do another one of your dog shit interviews with like somebody else at Barstool. Good <laughs> four people will watch it. Jesus Christ, what an awful hire. What's that, Mike? I think it makes a lot more sense now when you heard Portnoy the other day on the phone kind of hesitate and but almost- He's afraid of me. Almost did seemed they, worried they, that people were going to- He said he made a joke about people resigning after this oh, fight. Oh, no. And now it makes a lot more sense. lose content, Kim? That's right. Oh, boy. I mean, what a gift. Please, Dave should give me another raise. <laughs> How much Jesus money are you going to save this Jesus Christ. Man? My God. If you if you quit over what somebody else is saying, you should not work at the company. Although maybe at this company you should. I don't know. Yeah. But if I'm an island again, I'm an island again. That's fine. That's right. fine. You know, whatever. So that happened. And, you know, like Alex Bennett's doing what she's got to do. She's trying to make money. She's, I'll give, I'll give out, here's what I'll give Alex Bennett. She's getting in the ring, I think. Mm -hmm. we hope, yeah. I give her a lot of credit. We still for don't know. I actually but... do give her a lot of credit for that. She's showing a lot of guts. Well, she could pull a Ken Seiko. She could. We'll see. There's we'll some money involved. Why is it so gutsy? Everyone kisses yeah, every I give, fighter's I, ass. I, I like... give her credit for that. I give her credit for that. That, mm, that takes some guts. Fine. She could not do it, you know. Um, but, you know, she's going to get like, and when you, so when you go in the ring, like, I had no sympathy for what happens. You make an agreement, you go in. You, you're gonna get her fucking job busted. Why? She's gonna get her job broken. Like that's I, I've seen this the videos of this woman hitting. She's a she's a wrecking yeah. machine. You almost hope it's not worse. You know, an Apollo Creed situation. Or sure. Yeah. Right. I mean, I hope not. Right. Sort of. But I mean, like it's it's you know it's uh, Dan Katz does. I don't. Right. I hope she's fine. But I mean, you know, and and, and I I don't think I think I always spend it scrappy. I think she'll try. I think she'll stand in there and try and fight. But I think she's just gonna lose. Okay. And I'm gonna be I'll be dancing over her. I mean, that's you know. I'm 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 there to, I'm there to be the mouthpiece for Cupcake. You know she's a fighter. I'm a talker. You can, you can if you're listening right now. I'm I'm a born showman, and Cupcake is a born. We might you know she become female heavyweight champion of the world or whatever weight champion of the world. That's what, right. that's the belt that's on the line. I believe is right. that right? Yeah, I believe so. I hope so. You know, I hope if it's a you know a draw, it doesn't come down to some sort of you know debate between the two. <laughs> might be in some trouble then. <laughs> but. <laughs> But we love Cupcake. <laughs> but that's the whole point. Right. She's America. She's what Springsteen used to sing about. And Seeger and these people. The great plains of America. The great, you know, West Virginia. One of the great coal mining states in this country, Mike. Certainly. Cupcake is from that world. Right. And Alex Bennett's a silver spoon. Like, it's amazing. That's a bar stool wants us to root for this silver spoon person. Common versus, man. I mean, it's unbelievable. Common. Like, who's the average bar stool person going to root for? I don't right. have any question. That's exactly. I think Cupcake and I are getting a massive response when we go down the ring on Friday night. Massive. You know what Cupcake is? Milton, Milton Tough. Of course. Milton Strong. Yeah, and so you am know? I. Like, yeah, I was a bummer. Exactly right. You know, Gaz always says it, Dave. You know, I'm the last link, even though I was never there. Right. I'm the last link. Dave has gone to the, you know, he's worried about me hurting people's feelings. and Yeah, he's uh, in my Yeah, he's but, but Mentally fine. and physically. It's fine. Know? So, 
We'll see what happens, but uh, 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 I'll be down there Thursday. Dave Colnain is will not be there. He's going to Santa's Village. I have I have tried to make arrangements, and you said, nope, don't worry about it, well, Dave. Don't, don't worry to, about it, Dave. Don't well, worry. you have a family. I don't want you to not do that with your kids. I know, again. but I'm, I'm open to things. I'm open. Well, the Very golf, you want to go on Thursday, but I want you to... All right. What? No, if you're if you're giving me your blessing, I'm saying is you're welcome to go, but I also don't want you to not spend time with your kids. Oh no, do I appreciate it. that. No, do whatever you want. Which okay. would you prefer in your heart of hearts? What are, I, I gave you a little truth serum. Fifty fifty, though. Oh, right. Fifty fifty. <laughs> exactly. As long as we're spending time together, so it's fine. <laughs> um, uh, I don't want to do down there. Record some stuff, some videos. I guess you know. I think Bar. I think Barstool wants me down there. They do want you down there for sure. I mean, I'm, I'm box office. Yep. You know. And I'll take on anyways, motherfuckers. I'll take on content camera. The I think the way in, the way in it's the way in could be absolutely insan insanity. Like it could be. Why is that? I think you're going to be there. Stu Finer's going to be there. Well, that's uh, that's a whole different load there. of insanity. I think this is all showmanship. Stu Finer's his ass kicked. I mean, I'll be there. All right, I'll be there. Oh, you're against him now. Well, I mean, I don't know. He's on. He's on Alex's side, right? Yes. He oh, he is. is. Yeah, I did not know that. Yeah. Is. So they. So so go ahead, Stu. I mean, I've never met you. I mean, you seem like a lovely. That is a real matchup of crazy. That could be interesting. He's a ton of ass. A ton of ass. Well, my ass will be wide Dude. open. How much? Ass everyone do you knows have? I'm going to be at the hotel. Everyone knows I have, when I'm in the hotel uh, room. I blast the air conditioning naked and I put the air conditioning in my asshole. Like sure. I love it blowing in my asshole. So if Stu Finder's next door, if I, as long as I'm asleep, chow away, baby. Don't wake me up though. All right. That's all. Whatever he wants on there, you know. That's a matchup I'd like to see. Two managers going at it. He seems like a big guy. Oh, is he? He's I don't like, know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He's also the source, so I don't, you know. Uh, look, he has his alliances. I, I have mine. I, I don't know, Stu. I have nothing against him. Right. But we'll see what happens. I think it's going to be a crazy scene. So, so I'm, that, not, I'm not there to be, you know, I'm there to be 10 out of 10. I'm not there to be a 6 out of 10. I'm there, you know, Cupcake wants me there uh, to be her advocate. Somebody needs to speak for this person. Right. You know, like Bruce did for the... For the for the steel workers in America, or he did for the American Southwest migrant situation. Like I'm there or for the veterans and born in the USA. I am there to speak for her. Right. So you know, we'll see. We'll see. I mean, I think it's the beginning. Yeah, and it's very elitist to see that group chat of these rich uh, white women kind of talking uh, about just yeah. you know taking everything this poor girl has. Right. And, oh, fuck this idiot, this white truck. Like, okay, great. Right. Congratulations, congratulations, Casey Smith. Right. <laughs> you know, right. More burner accounts than. Have you the, turned on her? No, but you know she. She. I think she secretly hates me, and it's like, just come out and say you hate me. What do I care? I like. So affect my life. I'm playing mini golf either way. Right. You know. So, but yeah. So the trivia controversy. So Friday. Oh well, can I just ask one thing about the Alex? Bennett ask whatever you want. Sure. The thing I was much more focused on more than Alex Bennett was all the people rushing to her defense. Like uh, the kid you retweeted. I don't know who that is. Johnny Barstool. I don't oh, know. Yeah. Who is, is he working at the company? I don't know who that is. He must be a producer of some and kind. And the yeah. Stooley Clubhouse guy and all oh, that. Oh, that guy's a lo- those no, people, That's what I was more that feels about. like That feels like a chaps. I don't even know who's running that account. Somebody who hates us. I, I, who knows? But I was just like, are the, is this like the, the backbone of Barstool now? Who are these guys? Like, Stop the yelling at us. Stop, don't be mean. <laughs> that Barstool Clubhouse, the biggest pussy who ever lived. Oh, God. Yeah, I always find it funny... And this is like when I was talking about Stuttering John last week. These type of people that are like, don't be mean. You should jump in front of a train. Yeah, which is fine. But kill yeah, leave, leave it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, The clubhouse guy did that. I'm like, fine, but then you can't bitch and moan. Yeah, exactly. Say it, but don't yeah. say don't be mean. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fucking wild. Who, uh, but yeah, but you know, whatever. My, my thing's still squeaking, by the way. Sprays. Well, it's kind of part of the ambiance now. Somebody said uh, WD-40 is not what's going to work on a chair like that. So I got to find whatever. Okay, yeah. well, we'll figure it out. Yeah. Uh, but no, I did see that, and that's okay, you know. And yeah, that Pigney do tweet anything else out or no? He tweeted today that he signed a contract with somebody that that would allude to Barstool Sports. Well, that's great! Congratulations. We'll see. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's wonderful. What a what a hire that'll be for the company. <laughs> Funds all day, another waste. Oh yeah, yeah. So Friday, um, oh, these are all the ads for the week. Yes. Okay, good. Which, by the way, why'd you bail on me on Friday? Bailed on. Yeah, you bailed on. Oh, sure, because I was because I wasn't gonna do it. I was gonna tape something. I was like, I ah, forget it. Oh, okay. Um. Uh. Friday, I, I get a I see a tweet from Pat, saying, uh, uh, like what a what a wagon Chris Clemmer and right. uh, Chris Castanelli, who's a good kid, and Alex Bennett, uh, what a team they're gonna be, and I'm like, I immediately, we have a text team thread, team in the hand, myself, Rico, Jeff Lowe, and Pat, and I was like, I'm out. I'm like I'm done. See you later. I thought that was the wrong move. I'm glad. I'm glad you tweeted later that you were back. That was a right move because I would not work. Like I don't want uh, this idea that Pat, who runs the team, isn't aware that this team was put together a in the first place, and then b is praising them. I want this guy in charge of my team. He's you know what the fuck's going on. That team's put together like three days ago, and 
He follows all of us on Twitter. What the fuck is he doing? Right. Yeah, I didn't understand. I can't. That. I can't have that guy in any role responsible with the team. So he's gone. Uh, sort of Jeff, lack of leadership. Jeff, Jeff, of course, was you know wanting me to be part of trivia, and I like trivia, so I said, look, if he's gone, he goes to Chris's team, you know, with those guys. Good luck. Add your whatever you add there, and then myself, Rico, and Big Ev are, are going strong, so everything's fine. It was nice to see at least Big Ev wasn't cowering in fear. No, like he had my else. back, and yeah. Rico, and Rico quit immediately as well. Of course, and the team's back together, and Pat's going to go do his thing for uh, nothing against Pat. I like Pat, but I can't have that on my team. I can't. Right. You know, at the end of the day, it's my like, we play a little joke, but it's my team. Certainly. So I own the team. It's my name on the team. It's my property. You had so, some hurtful words, though. What did that you, you say? you threw a temper tantrum or whatever. How, I forget exactly how he phrased well, it. I saw it. The first thing Pat said was, uh, am I hearing this correctly? I've been kicked off Kirk's team. I saw some responses. He's saying, Pat, yes, you've answered a question correctly <laughs> for the first time. You have been kicked <laughs> off of Kirk's team. <laughs> so Pat leaves a legacy of never answering a question correctly. <laughs> That's... Yeah. Much like the Bills losing four incredible, Super Bowls. more impressive than it's yeah. more impressive. More impressive than me, into right? I, would, I totally agree with that. It's more impressive than, than me leading the league two years in a row in points per game. Right. I, I totally agree. Right. And I like Pat, but Pat's you know he's emotional and high strung. <laughs> and are you starting to sound like this? Guy, well, no, no, no. I'm just saying, you know. So he just seems like he's. I told you that game rolling was on suspect. Molly all the What's time. What's that? Guy, guy, guy. Sorry about that. Is Sorry. what? I told you that guy was suspect. I like Pat, I, I, but he, he got emotional and he made the decision and he's gone. He, he, listen, you can't be in charge of a team and not know that my enemy just joined the, when it was all over Twitter and Alex and I were fighting for two days. How does he not know that? Now, is a manager or a coach supposed to play the politics game a little bit and say, hey, they're going to be tough. You don't want to give them bulletin no, board material. No, that's more like, what a wagon. I can't believe they're going to put like, I don't need that. Okay. You, you got to check with me first. So Pat's out. Uh, good luck to him. End of an uh, era. Yeah, yeah, great era. So now it's a whole new me, Rico, and, uh, big, and big Ev. So it's a whole new team here. That's very big. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Why is so, that team a wagon, by the way? Like, Chris is good. Chris right? is very smart. I think very smart. Clemmer. Uh, Castellani. Very smart. Okay. Good kid, oh, too. So, and I think Clemmer will be good at trivia. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, I think he'll be good. I mean, Alex is literally going to be there's like, no, Alex no is literally going to be brain dead. She's going to be a vegetable after the fight. So I I'm not I'm sure not, what she's going to add to the team. I hope I'm not spoiling anything, but uh -huh. would your plans be when you go up against them, you, will you purposely take like movies I'll, as your... I'll be difficult to play against in that game. But just like emotionally, so. I'm going to be difficult to play against. Oh, that game. I suspect. Yeah, that I expect will be the case. If Alex is gone, will content Kim take her place? Probably. Uh, She'll do like what? Like old radio and silent movies and stuff from her era? <laughs> she looks 90. Well, then I might have to have her on. Oh, God. <laughs> She's just, I mean, it's like, she's like just, she looks like the sister in Pet Cemetery, Zelda, if you've seen the film. That's who she looks like. I haven't, but I assume it's, it's not, not a pleasant, complimentary. It's not a pleasant yeah. sight. It's just I, not a pleasant, I, I, I saw her in person, it's not a pleasant sight. Very pulled back. Right. Um, uh, so yeah, so oh, good luck to Pat. I, I, I got, I, Pat did what he had to do. That's okay. I get no heart. I actually have no heart feelings. Pat left and that's okay. Okay. I mean, he's not going to, what's he going to add to that team? Like, what's he going to? Literally nothing. Yeah, Inspiration. I mean, yeah, I'm not really yeah. sure. Leadership. What, you know. He's just there. Yeah. He could motivate them from the ragtag bunch of uh, ne'er do wells. Maybe you know. Maybe. Well, uh, oh, we have Omaha Steaks, which is my one of my favorites. I'm, oh, I'm so happy they're back. All right, excellent. Uh, summer is in full swing still, and no backyard grill out is complete without o Omaha Steaks. People tell me this all the time. They get them for their dad. They get them for their you know. Uh, you, what you should do right now is if you can, uh, I would go to omahasteaks.com. Right, omahasteaks.com. The keyword is Kirk. K I R K. If you want, I don't know if they have a program for this, Dave, or not. There are people in Seattle who haven't eaten in like over 10 years. They're starving to death. Right. Once they lost a the team, they lost their will to live. They live on water and they could barely just, they, they just live on the streets. Yeah. We've seen the homeless situation. Certainly. We should figure out some situation. We should do what, honestly, what people in Oklahoma City, the ownership hasn't done for the great people of Seattle. This owner, by the way, this Bennett guy, mm -hmm. when they had a chance for an expansion for Seattle with five or six years ago, he voted against that then. Really? Yes. I did not know that. That's a fact. So just purposely trying to stick it to Seattle. I suspect. I don't know. Who knows? Uh, but I'm, I'm, you know, I, I, all I know is people in Seattle, get them your Omaha steaks. The All American Assortment uh, is going on right now, uh, which is terrific. Uh, butcher cut filet, pork chops, boneless chicken breast, and way, way more. Plus, you get 12 ultra juicy Omaha steak burgers free with your order. Uh, you can build your own perfect menu as well online there. This also comes with 12 free Omaha steak burgers. OmahaSteaks.com, my name in the search bar. K I R K. Fill your freezer with enough gourmet food to keep your cookouts going strong all summer long. OmahaSteaks.com, keyword Kirk. OmahaSteaks.com, keyword K I R K. Alex can put one of those steaks like right on their eye, like they do in movies, those comedy movies, you know? 
When she's got a black eye. After the fight? Ah. Yeah. Nice. She put one of those on nice. there. Going down those comedy mistakes. movies? Yeah, isn't that only done really in comedy movies? Yes, I, I don't know. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Comedy movies. Yes. Seems like a hilarious bit. <laughs> Boy, what a movie that is. <laughs> oh, I, look who's talking. They do that, right? That's oh, Travolta does after George uh, oh. Siegel punches him over the kid, thank, right? Thank you okay. very much. Yeah. yeah. George Siegel is dead. That's right. He certainly John Travolta is. is not, though. John Travolta's had great loss in his life. Olivia Newton John, his own son, right. his wife, in that order, I think. Mm. As I said, when Olivia Newton John died, they immediately thought of John Travolta. <laughs> That's right. To him, it was the most. It was the biggest. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. But anyway, what else is going on? Uh, what's what was the deal with the ankle? You just did, you ran today, so it's okay. But. So I ran. Uh, that was a legitimately swelled ankle. Sure. Did you think they ever know? Many people were speculating it was broken. You what did you think yeah. of it? Well, Big Cat said a sprain is worse than a break. Way worse. It looked yeah. really bad to me. That's the old basketball injury. So yeah. I'm crossing the street in Lexington Center at the end of my run, and feeling good, had a nice run, and. There's, there's, there's crosswalks. In Lexington, people take the crosswalk very seriously. This is like... Is that right? Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. People get very... like you, you Cars are stopping. Okay. It's the old Peter Minahan line anyway. Like, he would stop at the crosswalk, and somebody would wave at him, and he'd say, oh, yeah, why don't you wave at me if I'm not shooting you? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not breaking the law because I'm, I'm stopping at the crosswalk. Thanks a lot. Like, he would get mad about this. Oh, interesting. Yes. People didn't pay enough respect to the, the quite, law, the rule of the no, crosswalk. No, no, quite the opposite. He would stop for the person at the sidewalk. Okay. The person on the sidewalk across the street would wave to him. He's like, what the fuck are you waving, waving at me for? I didn't break the law. Thanks a lot. Like, I got you. You're like, you know, I didn't rob a bank today. Right. You know, I'm not doing cocaine in front of you. Like, he would get very, you know, this would very be a big thing. thing to get yeah. yes. Annoyed at. Yes. This is my whole life. Like, this, is why you're, this is why I am who I am. That's very good. So, uh, 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 so I'm crossing, and this car comes flying up and stops. It kind of honks at me. Like, like, what the fuck are you doing? I'm just running across the sidewalk. Like, right. I'm like, so I'm turning him up, and I'm, I'm, I'm actually saying this. A 47-year-old man say, just so you know, I have the right of way. <laughs> as my head is turned, I'm, I'm going up. And that's right then as I'm saying it, I twist my ankle. <laughs> like in the end of that sentence. <laughs> the joy that guy must have felt. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> to the point where it was so close, I was like, I could almost feel it about to snap. Oh, Ooh. God. And it didn't. And it was okay, but then it swelled up big. And then I took a day off. And then I was, you know, I ran today. It was a little sore uh, at the beginning, but that was fine. I'm fine. Okay. I like to think someone's telling the story right now. You know, Kirk Manan yelled at me and rolled his ankle. <laughs> <laughs> he might be dead. Because I definitely, like, shrieked and, like, hobbled. I was like, ah! <laughs> and, like, I just, I, I, I bounced to the... To the and I felt I had the documented uh, foot. But if you notice, I hid some part of my feet in that picture. I was not going to give everybody the full foot. Because I am considering OnlyFans. How far disgusting. were you from your home? Uh, a quarter of a mile, maybe. And you had to just hobble back. Well, I just wanted to see this. Yeah, I wanted to see the situation because I was like, I might have broken this thing. I could tell right away. I, I sprained that thing playing basketball when I was a kid fifty thousand times. Right. I've done a few times running as an adult, so it was a couple of days. It was annoying, but you know, you rested, iced it. I was okay. Our prayers were with you. Glad it wasn't last week during the mini golf term or next week in West Virginia. So you know, we'll see. I noticed Dave still didn't reach out to you. At least not in that group chat that. that Rico... The group uh, chat yeah. makes me uncomfortable. Rico honestly. immediately reached out. Immediately yeah, he did. did. Immediately he did. reached well, out. I, I quote tweeted it very quickly. That's not the same. Well, okay. That's yeah. not the same. But thank you. <laughs> but no, it's acknowledging it. Oh, I appreciate that. that was, I always feel by not responding. That's sort of my that's what I like. gift yeah, to yeah. you. I do yeah. appreciate Mike's that. very formal in his text responses. Like he's Try like explaining. I think we're all nervous. All Rico. The whole Rico thing makes me just uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to upset him. This is very... I don't want to upset them. It's very... Although we were texting this morning about... New York City point guards from this, that documentary that one he's watching, the high ah. school point guards. Yeah, so we're texting about that a little bit. Very good. Uh, uh, Rico, I forgive. I think Rico, I, 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 I'm going to give Rico a pass on this whole thing. He had a very good line in that group chat. What was it? Uh, whatever the joke was, he doesn't have a leg to stand yes, on. You, <laughs> you, you can use that, yeah. That's good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you said you could use it, Mike. Yeah, he did. Yeah. I appreciated <laughs> That's that. That's right. The always thing was that Dave's going to try and take over. Right. Yes. Oh, yeah. Strange. Yeah. Strange take. But it's all right. I'm a Rico guy. I think he's right. I'm a writer. Yeah. Yeah. What else is going on? Uh, how about Clean Broken? Did you read that blog on uh, Marshall yes. Sports? <laughs> don't, refer, don't you dare refer to it as that. <laughs> Clean <laughs> Broken. <laughs> is that the Clamor one? Yeah. Can we, sounds do, like like, a, can we do that next? Can we talk about something else? Sounds like a 30 next? for 30. <laughs> I'm not even sure what to say about that yet. I'm, a, I, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to stay calm tonight. Well, I have some thoughts. So do I. But go ahead. What do you got? <laughs> what else, Dave? I can't do that right now. Uh, I can't, mentally, I can't do that That's right too now. serious for you at this moment? Well, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, how about the FBI saying that Alec Baldwin pulled the trigger when? Okay, that's maybe we, we need to go back know. to Congress, <laughs> yeah, <suppose>. There you <laughs> go. I don't know. How about Anne Hage? <laughs> oh yeah, oh, I feel bad. For, you know, here's the thing. So, like, I saw people piling on. And look, Anne Hage was a mess at the end. But is there, is there? Well, if she had lived, I've been very glad she went to jail for 30 years. If she had escaped healthy, with right. Her. Is there any room for some sympathy for this woman who obviously had a really fucked up life? Like, is there? Can we have both? Like, can yes. we? 
can we do both? Can we say, you know, like it's clearly like, you know, I'm there violate the law hugely. That's why, you know, she got in jail for 50 years, but at the same time had real issues with her parents really struggle with dependency. Like it's just, it is a really sad story. Yeah. There, it's a weird mix. Cause like condemning her does nothing being like, she's you dead. Should, you mean, should, if you were alive, you should be right. in jail. Who does that help? Right. But also it's weird to see, you know, variety or whoever be like just celebrated actress. Yeah. Away. Yeah. I so mean, it's weird from both right, ends. Right. There's never you know, any room. What do you really for, do? Right, right. Nobody cares about the, the friggin' house that she destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, it, by the way, could have easily killed. been 12 people in there. Did yeah. you hear? By the way, which the, Tiger Woods could have done also, but that's fine. true. Did you was hear that? the podcast she may have done right before yes, that? Yes, I did, yeah. It was rough. It was not great. <laughs> yeah. And I saw the interview she did a, like a week, a couple, it was bad. So yeah. bad. So she was really clearly battling this stuff. Certainly. So I feel bad. She was actually for a while, like in, the, she was like the lead in six days, female lead in six days, seven nights, which was the Harrison Ford romantic comedy from 1998 when he was still a huge star and Ivan Reitman directed it. It was like her big shot. It didn't work out. She was the lead in this movie Volcano with Tommy Lee Jones, which was a big budget movie that didn't work out. Right. She was in Donnie Brasco. Um, That's right. She's in Cedar Rapids, which is one of my favorite comedies of the last, say, 20 years. Um, you, do you like that one, Mike, or no? With John C. Riley? Yeah. Yeah. She's in it. She's yeah, very yeah, yeah. good. Um, and of course, I think probably most famously is the Ellen thing. That's what I wondered because I don't know her that well. I forgot she that was her and Donnie Brasco. Hey, she's but, his wife, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, so I don't know her like that well as an actress. So I always wondered if she was more famous because of. I think she Ellen. was, but I think she was a good actress. But I think she's definitely more famous. Because the Ellen thing was enormous. Was she was so out cool. at that? Was Anne Hayes out at that time? I think she was out. No, I don't think so. Okay, so they both. And came it was kind of like a big deal, or like you know, at that point, it's it's crazy to say it was like a big deal. The two of them went to like the White House. Yeah. Or the two of them were public, like out at dinner. And so, I mean, well, I remember it was a big deal because I was just telling because someone was uh, a friend of mine who's like a few years younger than me was asking about Anne Hache, and I was talking about the Ellen thing, and they were like, "Well, why was that a big deal?" And I was like, "I don't really know, but everything I've watched is when Ellen came out on her sitcom, people were like, will she be able to do television oh, definitely. anymore?' Definitely, <laughs> like it's crazy. And you think in that you know thirty years or whatever it's been, right? You know." Although oddly, for like on sitcoms and like American television, I mean, I know there's been Will and Grace, but it's not like there's been this like. In Modern Family. But modern it's like, Family. But it's yeah. not like there's been this crazy change, you know? No, well, so that's why I kind of liked that. I mean, it doesn't blow me away with comedy or anything, but that new Neil Patrick Harris show. Oh, I didn't see it, yeah. It's not bad, but what I liked about it was like, it just happens to be about a gay guy right. who's getting out of a 17. It's not like, can you believe right, the right. struggles he goes through? Because he's. it's just, he happens to be gay. Could right. have been a guy with a woman, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I liked her as an actress. Um very sad. I mean, just awful. I mean, just a mess. Fucking Hollywood will chew you up and spit you out. Yeah. Just fuck you up. So I don't think I know one thing that she was in. None of those. You don't know Donnie Donnie Brasco? Brasco? Mm, I don't think I ever saw Donnie Brasco. Cedar Rapids? No. Nope. Nope. Yeah, I don't know what was she was in. Not a lot of people any, seen like, Cedar Rapids, I don't think. What's that, Mike? Was she in any television shows? I don't really think so. I'm no. nothing. I don't think you've seen. What'd you say, Michael? I don't Cedar think Rapids? Cedar Rapids is that popular movie. I know. I love it. I remember watching it in It's very fun. You should watch it again. It's very fun. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know, Dave. It's I funny. Know. It's somebody I can recognize for some reason, but I don't remember her from any movies whatsoever. Well, you're going to have to reckon with that. Yeah. Okay, I don't know what to say. I'll, I'll, Sorry I'll, that I'll, dig deep. I'll dig oh, deep. Oh, Dave, there was a big Cullinane family discussion this weekend. <laughs> okay. Oh, pancakes this morning or no? No pancakes. Where, what? Where were they? Back on the beach? Uh, we had a family, like one of those family, extended family there's reunions. Been a, there's been a moratorium oh. on cooking. We drive two, we <laughs> drive two hours do. just to hang out with the people that, is that the you... That fucking worst. Yeah, pretty, that is the worst. It was a good worst. time. It was, a good time. It was not a good time. You're well, lying, but go ahead. Well, it was on a lake. It was nice. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Riley won the candy jar. She was excited. So candy jar? Yeah, it was huh. a little raffle. It was nice. Wait, what, did you have to guess like the number of M&Ms or something? No, or you what? just had raffle tickets and you put them in the bag. Oh, how much were the raffle tickets? Kathy bought them for all the kids. So Very nice. Fucking believable. What was the debate? What was the conversation? No, I just told them that I said it came up on the show that my mom has been manning the grill for oh. our entire lives and all of us everyone except one sibling was like yeah I never really thought of it as weird even though that's really weird yeah Dave okay. presented to me as they, missing, were, they were all at odds I'm missing I'm missing this. I guess I'm missing the, the conversation the debate about this. no it was just like why that's not really that normal for most families that I don't think it mother, is no. that mother what did Jack have to say about this Jack wasn't around during that conversation well, where was he it was just the kids Oh, he was mingling. That was his moment. It's his side of the family. So he have a he drink like in a hand star. or is he? He's a Coke. Yeah. Oh, he's not a drinker. Ah. Oh, he's not a drinker at all. Recover or just doesn't drink? Father was an alcoholic, so he would ah. never touch that stuff. Oh, good. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. How's he deal with Kathy? Skips a generation. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy does not drink, so. No, Kathy. Yeah. No, absolutely not. Yeah. Um, 
it was Kathy. So Kathy wasn't there for the discussion. Kathy was not around. So it was just the call name kids all together? We were there, and then the nieces and nephews were around there. What the did they say? They say, oh, Uncle whatever was always on the grill, or? Uncle whatever was always well, on the grill? Like the other, like the other cousins of yours that are uncles. And Most not. of our get-togethers are at my parents, so they... they well, I understand that, but... Did they, but Kathy these, cooked for the whole family. But these people have parents, though. I'm guessing in that family, was the uncle on the grill? Uh, yes. Okay, so... Huh. Yes. Okay. yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm thrilled Mike brought this up. <laughs> He presented it to me as a big family revelation. Argument. I didn't say there was an argument. We were just all, they were all shocked. They're like, yeah, why, why has she made it? It was presented differently. Life? That's all. Not well, maybe she just likes to do it. Yeah. Does she have a special, you know, Omaha steaks, I assume. Always. Does she have a special sort of seasoning? Strategy, or? no yeah. special seasoning, but she does like to put tin foil on the, like she cooks everything on tin foil first because of all the. Does she put the corn on the cob on there ever? Oh yeah, sure. So with tin foil. Yes. I do. Yeah. That's, yeah. I, but do I mean that. like she'll cook a burger with, on the tin foil. Really? So the juices, like, so really? she'll get the juices in the beginning. Yeah, Is that and then a good move or off. not a good move? I think it's a clean move. Does it make the burger better or no? Uh, probably if you have not, a burger, a burger too bloody, like, it, it makes the bur the bun soggy. It can be she's not a cook. Like she, I mean. I, I understand, David. Yeah. She's not a, a chef. I yeah, she's not, yeah. I understand. So no, but I mean, like some moms you consider like they're good cooks. Oh, she's not a good cook. Well, she's a, like, she's a good cook for me because what I'm very her, bland. What is her specialty? Like, what, if, if it's a Kathy Colony, like, <laughs> meal. Uh, spaghetti and meatball. Like, her sauce is fantastic. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm sure it's incredible. It's fantastic. That's great. Ah, Colony and family <laughs> recipe. There's but, nothing. But you're like me. I might be criticized because I have no, I have no, I'd be the same way. We don't try anything new. Right. It's all the basics. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Turkey meatballs are pretty good. It's not like Content Kim who really experiments, I'm sure. Is she a big cook? I think so, yeah. Oh, well, I mean, she brings the office, you know. Oh, she brings those cook cookies, cookies, yeah. Cookies and brownies. Yeah. Every All those day. fatzos can stuff their face and eat their cookies. Good for them, <laughs> yeah. those assholes. Has she always been in content? Like, was that what her the hell job? Do I, know, a... like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think you guys... No, they're you... a package deal. Like, they started <laughs> on, on the golf media. course. Yeah. Hey, I defended her daughter, and then, you know, now I'm an asshole. Yeah. Well, I give up. You know, yeah. what are you going to do? Yeah. Sorry, you know. Sorry, your daughter's going to be deformed after Friday. But she made a deal. Like, that's that's part of the deal. Right. true. You know. Um... What else before we get to that? Uh, did you see Jared Carabas with a perfect strike? First did he throw a good pitch tonight? Yes, he did. Oh, good for him. Did you see his like dramatic video that he posted? No. Did you see that one? Uh, oh, yes, I did. Yes, yeah. I did. Yes, yeah. I did. Yes. It's the biggest day of his life. I mean, <laughs> it's funny. It's not going to be broadcast anywhere. No, ESPN oh. didn't broadcast. No, it's on yeah. national TV. Yeah. You're not going to have it on. Yeah. Well, they never do that, do they really? That was Cora Ketch. No, unless yeah. it's you know, like Ortiz I, I, was uh, there for some reason. Carabas had mentioned that might be the case. Yeah. So the manager of the last place team is going to roll out there and before the game and catch a fucking ball by Jared Carabas. Why does Alex yeah. Cora mean so much to Yeah, Jared he said he Carabas. wanted to be someone that meant something, though. Why? Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. They dated for a, six months. <laughs> I don't know why. How the hell do I know? I don't know. He hasn't been the manager here that long. He's the biggest. He's a, he's a drip. Maybe Jared's attracted. I have no idea. Yeah. He's doing a great job this year with that team. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. If I was a fan, I'd be like, this guy's fucking managing his team in last place and he's fucking catching a ball by this idiot. They brought him back for this. Jesus, no kidding. Well, good for Jared. I, I, I speculated, given that Jared is making a very nice living, might not be generating the same buzz he did at Barstool. He might be better off doing a 50 cent first pitch or a Baba Booey. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where he does something that gets a little nationwide buzz. That's true, going, but does that, does that... Or blow his arm out or something. The cocky rocket... That's character. a tough. That's a tough. It's, look, listen, it's a life of Karab. It's a tough balance. Right. I don't know the answer to that. Right. Was he wearing a hat? Was it talking? I did not see a hat. It was not, yeah, I did not mm. see. You're showing hat. that hair of his off now. He's, he's he's turned his back on his hat. Oh, you think Apparently. so? I, think I mean, so. I think it's by his side. Like it was probably where all his other. Shit now, was. if this yeah. necklace can talk, or what's that thing he has? The uh, he's got some kind of chain. Yeah. Right. Well, the chain. This yeah. chain could talk. You figured yeah. the hat had enough stories at this point. That's true. You can't. I mean, it's like it's like its own series. How much can you do in a lifetime? You know. That is true. Um, I was asking Dave, like, Carabas always talks about how it's like his dream. Like, he loves baseball. And always talks about his dream right now. Yeah, yeah. But you must get sick of that. Like, oh. you, there must be days where he's like, fuck this. Oh, <laughs> right? I would think, right? I love golf more than anybody. If I had to do that every day, all day, uh, like, tweet out every video and from he's the do it for every tour. team. Oh. And yeah. Well, he treats it like he is the media company, was, I was telling Mike. Like, yeah, his was... Twitter, his personal Twitter account is tweeting MLB highlights from every single team. He's which a, a, he's a workhorse. The guy's yeah. a workhorse. Right. He's, he deserves it. He's worked hard. I, we, yep. You know, very happy for Jared. I miss him. I'm very happy for him. Congratulations for throwing a ball accurately before a game. In front of a big Meanwhile, crowd. they have like five people a game do it. So he did it. Then the, the guy who finished third in insurance sales in New Hampshire is up next. It's like, It'd be great if it was Carabas and like this man who served two tours in <laughs> Afghanistan. Yeah. Right. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, it's, you know. But congratulations to Jared. That's great. Yeah. The dream lives on for the Rocket. It's true. Um, I was going to say something 
I think tangentially related to that, but I can't recall it now because Mike ruined my thought. How so? Well, who knows? What else? Did you see Tommy Lee's dick on Instagram the other day? I did. Yeah. I've seen it before. I mean, yeah. I saw it on the tape years and years ago. Yeah, well, yeah why would that be? The same penis as always. What a savvy play. It gets taken down four hours after he posted it, and then he basically creates art around it was a terrific, terrific piece of art did you see it, it was yeah beautiful. it was it a wonderful. huge dick well, i've seen it i saw yeah. the pamela anderson tape 25 years ago oh i didn't watch that series but i also I watched did, it. i kind of enjoyed it i also didn't know that it was illegally obtained yeah so oh, yeah, 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 yeah i had no thing. idea yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah yeah i thought it was like for sale and like, i felt like bad. legally and well knew about it it, became, it also felt it was very con- convoluted it also it kind felt, of became that yeah i mean the tape was not great either no, wasn't no, great. no, no, no. They're a little too dirty for. It's a life. lot of like stupid talk, like just too dumb. I baby, love you, baby. Yeah, this, yeah, yeah. baby, 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 yeah, baby, yeah. baby, baby, baby. Yeah. yeah, a lot of that. Yeah. So and I'm, I'm, was it good for 1994 or whatever it was? Yeah, you know? not really. Yeah, yeah, okay. It was. A, it was just a, an event, you know. Yeah. yeah, it was well shot. It just wasn't, they did a good yeah. job with it. Yeah, I'm not a Motley Crue guy. So, right. Yeah. Like you know. Oh, so that kind of ruined. Yeah, it. Yeah. You wish it was Bruce. Yeah. Max Weinberg. Who doesn't John Malakamp or something? Who doesn't like Motley Crue? They just don't do it for me. They're fine, but they're not like you couldn't name ten of their songs. No, I couldn't. But when it comes on, it's, it's yeah. That's what I mean. Like music. their hits yeah. are fine, but yeah. I'm not. I'm not going on the journey with those guys. Like they played the Fenway last the other week. night. Yeah, I was saying they were showing tits on the big screen of Fenway. Oh Park. yes, you mentioned yeah. that. Who could forget? Yeah. Who could forget that you mentioned they showed tits on the big screen? <laughs> <laughs> I was obsessed with that. Stuff. Well, it just seems strange. I would think they would protect against those things happening. Well, you could protect was simply safe. You could It'd be fine then if they had that. Yeah. They had Fenway, no big issue. So I gave up the address to that uh, Jeff and you and that Barstool Clubhouse guy. That's right. Yes. Yeah. Come on. Let's go. Colony needs addresses out there. We're not afraid. Sure. We have Simply Safe. I don't give a I shit. Surprised what's Mike's address again? Come on then? in. Uh, it's in. It's in Waltham. Yeah. Mike, what street is it? Just that's get the street. Nah, that's okay. I'll tell you what. <laughs> give the number. How's that? 425. There you go. Yeah. Uh, it needs to work. It's got Simply Safe. Uh, nothing matters more than the safety of you and your loved ones. Of course not. That's what matters most. Uh, many home security companies don't act that way. I use, and I've been using three years ago now, over three years, uh, Simply Safe Home Security. Their advanced security technology helps me sleep at night. And they always put uh, my family's safety first, 24 7 professional monitoring. Their agents truly care about your well being and are highly trained to help keep you calm and safe during stressful situations. Staying on the line with you until help arrives. Their customer first policy makes sure you're taken care of with affordable pans, plans starting at less than a dollar a day. No long term contract, no hidden fees. Uh, they just make you feel safe. I've used it. I love it. I'm telling you, use it. I'm endorsing it. Customize the perfect system for your home in just a few minutes, I'm telling you, at simplysafe.com, S-I-M-P-L-I, S-I-M-P-L-I, safe.com slash Kirk. Free indoor security camera plus 20% off of interactive monitoring. If you go to simplysafe.com slash Kirk, simplysafe.com slash K-I-R-K. Ugh. I mean, are we just putting Minifans across America on ice for a little bit as we get through this week or so? Or? I mean, I'm working on it, but okay. yeah. He's a one-man army back there. I have the, like, the route is there, right? Yeah. I have step-by-step directions for the route. Right. The problem right now that's insanely time-consuming is I need to point out exact landmarks for where this Dale Bear needs to be passed off. Yeah. Right. So Tough. that every single person can plug into their phone. I have to meet, meet here X and, and end X. here. Correct. Yes. Yeah. So that's right. the big pain in the dick at the moment. Well, you'll get there. Yeah. I mean, you'll get there. You'll get there. Sounds like more, maybe more of a 2023 operation. <laughs> well, we'll get it done. We'll get it done. We got a lot, we got a lot on our plate right now, Mike. Right. As exactly. always, a lot yes. on our plate. Yeah. Uh, what else? Am I a bad dad if I yeah. cancel this trip and go to West Virginia? <laughs> yes. You think yeah, so? yeah, yeah. No, I say do it. I mean, it was no. planned in, a, in a long time ago, but I don't know. It's for the boys. I'm a big, I'm really into like, the, the Cupcake, thing. I know you are. I know you are. What? I, cupcake, I know you are. No, that's not true. <laughs> oh, please. That is not oh, true. Please. I mean, you probably yeah, want someone to rub her shoulders things. before the fight, right? Listen, we have young kids. We can relate. We probably have a lot to talk about. It's that's, not true. A that's true. That's true. That's a good point. She's good, yeah. No, but I think that the Minna fans like seeing you behind the scenes and elements like that. You just don't want to go ah, to Santa's that's Village. That's not true. That is you not true. I have no idea what Santa's Village is, so I don't. I have no it idea. It stinks, but you go with your kids. You're, yes. when you're, believe me, you're on your deathbed. I know you're an empty person. Yes. But you will still, when you're saying, boy, I really. If it came down to it, I wish I'd spent more time with Kirk in West Virginia or more time with my kids. Yeah, but I'm really good with that shit. Like, I'm really good with doing things with my kids. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, can't you do both? Can't you go Thursday and then come back? Oh, potentially. Yeah. When, when are they going to Santa's Village? Friday. Oh, Friday afternoon. Tough. With yeah. who? Just the family? Uh, two of my sisters, brother-in-law's family. Oh, they like got that. it covered. Nice little trip. That's a nice trip. Yeah. Plenty of adults to yeah. watch them. So, what are you thinking? I'm telling you, you should spend, I mean, do whatever you want, yeah. but I don't want to be, this, to see what happens, Mike, is like, 
nine months from now when he quits, he's like, oh, like that time That's I had to go. That's not true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is not true. Yeah. Is not well, true. I think what we it's learned. Like Mike, it's like Mike choosing a stupid beach party in the rain. No, I would like. <laughs> Florida with yes. See, I'm thinking yeah. of the Minifans. I, I, I know, no, you're, you're, just, I know just, you're dialed in on Cupcake. I'm thinking of the Minifans. <laughs> I don't care about you. Care no, about you're, dialed in on, you're dialed in on helping Cupcake beat the list. That's my job. That's your job. No, I get it. That's your focus. My focus is documenting you accomplishing your goal for the Minifans. So you're saying nobody can do that in your stead? I don't know. And mm-hmm. by the way, we asked them to do that at the mini golf thing. And it didn't really go that well. So No, it didn't. Yeah. But they couldn't really share a lot of content. So, I don't right. know. Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, here's what the main mini golf thing taught I'll me. I'll say about. right now, Frank the Tank won that mini golf thing. <laughs> I don't. I've heard other ones. <laughs> it was, it's a matter. Just happy you got through it. <laughs> oh, did he? You'll find out. <laughs> yeah. What's that? Uh, so, the, if the main mini golf thing taught me anything, is we're going to have to listen to three more shows of him hemming and hawing about this, and then it'll just show up in West Virginia. Yeah, it's, it's you know, it's well, up to you. Was, You're an adult. By chance. This <laughs> I, am saying, to I am saying to you, you know, yeah. do whatever you. You're an adult, but if you if you say, hey, Kirk, I want to go spend the weekend, I would say, of course. Yeah. This is this is spur of the moment. Yep. So uh, you're not going to get any any grief from me on that one. Gotcha. So figure it out. Okay, I'll figure okay. it out. Okay. You're you're welcome. Everyone's thanking me tonight. I'm not really sure what the people. You've are been thinking. pretty thankful lately. I have. Yeah, you've done a lot of thanks in the in the uh, text messages. Oh, well, yeah, I was very worried. Oh, it's in your mind. Actually, I forgot thanks. that. But yes, it's in your head. Every, it's thanks to everything. I'll yeah, let thanks. Mike know about Sunday night. Thanks. Well, it seems like ah, a, now I can't win. Like, you, should I not yeah, say thanks? Well, I'll say fuck you if you want. I don't care. never said it before, but now you're saying it. I won't say it anymore. I appreciate Fine. it. Gotcha. Be done. I, thank you. I appreciate it. Surprise you don't say, yeah, that's all right. Don't let him know. It's true. I'm kidding. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, oh, Greg Poehler is available. Uh, <gasps> what was that? <laughs> you excited? <laughs> Tell me when. Uh, <laughs> Monday, August 29th, he's going to be in town. Oh, nice. Oh, hachi machi. So, so if you want to have him, we'll be there. We're doing a show that day, I assume, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, so we won't hear about this goddamn West Virginia trip for oh, we'll do something. a week's we'll time. We'll do something in some form or fashion. Well, we don't know because you're going to try to record later this week in West Virginia. Yes. Right? Yeah. Which will be a disaster. Which is going to be disastrous, yes. So what? Yeah. It's so one pod. Life goes on. It's okay. one podcast. What else? Yeah. Uh, you don't want to do it yet? You want to do Clean Broken? Or Give no? me one more. And I'll yeah. just get into this because I'm going to lose my... I, I really want to stay sane at this point in my life. I really do. I, I'm surprised you're even bothered by it because, frankly... It's so... I, I thought I, we kind of laid it out I pretty just, well. I Mike, actually, dis, I actually, just, I actually disagree. But go ahead. Mike made such a good point in the car right here. He just reads like a transcript of the of this show. But here's where... Well, give me one more story, then we'll do it. I, I can't. I Did can't. you read that L.A. Times story about... Uh, Los what Angeles the fuck radio is that doing in the LA Times? It's, it's it like, was very strange. It's like half oh, the thing you talk about. Yeah. yeah, I didn't get it either. And, Why? Then, and then all these LA radio hosts were like, we have fucking 25 sports teams and we only give a shit about, when, about them when they're good. Of course, it's going to like, because we have so many options for people, it's going to make well, it look like. The city is so much bigger. It and there's so yeah. much but, more But I will say, I will say though, like in those towns, like it doesn't, it just doesn't have a blip, sports radio. I mean, I've lived in no, LA. Well, they're all, yeah. LA is all transplants too. Yeah. For, I mean, not all, but. But if you have a great like a great talk show. Like I didn't like care about the New York Giants, but Mike and the Mad Dog were great. Right. You know what I mean? Like if you, oh if sure, you, yeah. Like if you find a great a great duo, like, that's it, pretty it, rare. It, What's oh, a, I agree. Name another example of that that just talked about sports. Sure, but I would say like I'm sure there are people who listen to the Big Show that's peaked that were not huge Boston like Red Sox fans necessarily, but they were in the city. Yeah. They were doing 20 ratings. I mean, yeah. You know, I mean, I'm I'm saying if it's something that kind of goes over, but. In LA, you're probably not going to get that. I think you're right. The passion's not the same. Right. I, I, I'm not really sure why. JT the brick. Yeah, I'm not sure why this guy had to write four thousand words on it and <laughs> use yeah. Tony Maserati. Is it's, it's just weird. Yeah. Had, I assume is, he knows him as an old writer or something. I was going to say, is that just a Boston guy that think, wanted to shoehorn but that also, in? Also, they are like insanely oh, dominant crazy. ratings wise. So crazy. that's probably the best. Yeah. They are the best sports radio show in the country. Right. I it's because I, yeah. I left is why their ratings are up so high. But I didn't see that. It's actually true. I mean, I didn't see that in the story, but that's fine. That's correct. Uh, yeah, it was, it was a weird, I saw you tweet about it. It's true. Like, this guy wrote about Boston radio more than the like, fucking media critic in Boston. Yeah. yeah. Very strange. Yeah, he had, like, quote, he had more quotes from Boston sports media personalities than Chad Finn has had in the last 10 years. It's true. Yeah. Or any Boston media. And I've, we've talked about this before, but, like, maybe it's just because I listened to EEI all the time back in the day, but, yeah. like, I don't hear any. I used to hear things about you know even Nothing, Sh- no. Sean McAdam or right. these random like baseball writers or whatever. I don't hear anything. I think anymore. most people that saw that Brian Barrett thing were like, who? Right. Right. I mean, like, I only know him because of Cullinan. <laughs> right. Like more people would know, like, yeah, would know the guy who did it twenty years ago, whatever that job was, John Rish or whatever his name was. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I know, you know exactly who that. Yeah, is. yeah. It's <laughs> weird, but maybe it's because we're getting maybe we be 
Age away. Uh, demos? I don't know. But yeah, I'm only 30. Yeah, very, uh, true. It was a very <laughs> strange story. Here. I'm 60. Twice your age. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Very, it was just a weird story. But I read the whole thing. Mm-hmm. I'll give him that. I read yeah. the whole thing. It's a good article. You know what uh, I thought was weird this weekend was like, you see that article? It was like Howard Stern announces his dad died at 99. Yes, I was oh, about yeah. to bring that up. So. I don't think I've read an article that's like like, like somebody else announcing their parent. Usually, Well, the way it was done, too. So Ben Stern, who was a great character on the old Stern show, obviously a big part of the movie, too, uh, died at the age of 99. But the news was broken when Stern gave an interview to a Hamptons magazine that he provided the cover art for. <laughs> yes. And like it's a Q&A. Weird. and was like, yeah, age is weird. And my dad died recently. I'm like. I guess he doesn't do a show in the summer, though, right? No. Yeah. So he wouldn't mention it. That's so strange. He was 99. I mean, that's incredible. I think yeah. his mom is still alive. Yeah. And that's a guy. She's sick, but she's still hey, alive. Oh, is she? Yeah, 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 yeah. He was great in the old show. Yeah. What's up, Mike? All right, that's just a guy that was so focused on you have to do that on the air back in the day. Like, that's the rule that he lived by. Right. If something like that comes up, he would. if if this were the case in, you know, 1999, he would have done an emergency show and right. talked about his dad for three hours. Well, or like, whatever, I, could, you know? I could definitely make the argument that, like, he's probably, like, a healthier person for it. Uh, like, it's just like, you know, my I dad mean, died. I know he's trapped in his house all the time. No, I don't mean that, but I mean, but like, <laughs> but, like, my dad's, I have to go do a show about it, talking about my dad dying. Like, I've done that, but, like, oh, I that, like what saying, is yeah. that... Yeah. Like really? Then you do that. Now what? I mean, look what, look what I've done tonight for the first hour. It's madness. <laughs> like, who am I? Fuck am I mad? At yeah. People? But then, I mean, the other end is that he's a claustrophobic weirdo. Oh, now, so who knows, completely, completely. Know? But yeah, I was sad to see that. Oh, he's 99 years old. It's a well, he's going to honor, yeah, yeah. honor him with paintings or something. Yeah, like that's that. the weird part of it yeah. where he's like, it's what's the name of the publication? I forget the name. So like it's something in the Hamptons, right? Yeah, and he gives like six answers about painting. He says, oh, yeah, my dad just recently died. So age is like a thing to me now. Isn't he going to like paint... Like build, he's gonna like paint a building. Or oh, something is he? Like yeah, that. yeah. Stern's like okay. Stern approaching 70? Oh, like Dan, seventy. Dan's right? papers. Dan's papers. Dan's papers. Dan's papers. So Hampton's like rich, like publication. Yeah. He's done a couple of covers for them, right? Like yeah. this is his latest cover. Yep. Very weird. He, he kind of jammed his dad dying in there. Yep. But yeah, it was sad. I, I always liked him, but you know, I honestly wasn't sure if he was alive or dead to be honest. But yeah, is a hell of a good life. Jesus, I hope I don't make it to the night. It's fucking 50 more than 50 years from now. What's so his mom's still alive? Yeah. I Old believe so. Uh, I mean, I get, given the time, I'm guessing she's at least a couple years younger. A little late. Oh, okay. Probably 90, but, but still, 95? Jesus. 96? I mean, that's good and long, you know, good genes for him. Uh, all right, we'll do it. <laughs> so, you know, Clemmer, who, you know, I mean, like, I, I'm not even... I don't know what to say anymore. Like, it's just annoying. But well, uh, if you listen to the show Thursday, yeah. he took some notes. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, where is it? Do you have the link to it? Yes. You want to send it to me? Yeah, yeah. Or you could Google clean broken. <laughs> is that true? You like that title, huh? <laughs> it's so absurd. I like it. It's a good, uh, when the documentary is made about this saga. Clean broken? Yes. yes. You send it to me or no? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. <clears throat> who am I? Who I am rooting for? Rough and ready. So it's Clemmer, and he weighs in. So I guess clean broken means that he's we had a, a clean break, but he's Correct. broken that, that yes. clean break. Okay. Which, by the way, like I said, I mean he's got to respond to what she writes. Well. <laughs> so I guess here's my thing with Clemmer is it's like it's a little bit of this passive aggressive stuff where he, like he wants everyone to like him, so he just starts up by saying. Oh, if it wasn't for Kirk, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't do this. He's a great guy. Da, da, da. It's like, you fucking hate me. I hate you. Like, why? Well, that's all true, though, even if he hates you. Uh, but well, he's just doing it so people be like, oh, he's a good guy. And, and then he does the whole thing. Uh, like, to me, he does the whole thing about me saying that stuff about his dad. So people will be like, oh, you know what? He actually is kind of an asshole. That's why he does it. That's why he's doing the whole thing. Like, it's right. just. Well, the people reading the blog are people who thought Barstool Idol was entertaining. Right, that's not so he's playing into them. Yeah, so it's the okay. guy that called you me. It's the yeah. Stewie Clubhouse. And so Chris yeah. is like, "Oh, feel bad for me," and like, "Oh, Kirk. but like, I love Kirk," and you know, I'm rooting for Al. Who gives a shit who Chris Clem is rooting for? Rough and rowdy, anyway. Great. After he, she just tossed him aside on the trivia. Yeah, time. he should be like, he should be, be like, "Fuck you," and "Fuck you," the both of us. I'm rooting for Neaton. I hate both of you. Like, he should hate me. He should hate her. I would hate her if I were him, but he doesn't because he wants everyone to like him, and it's Chris's weakness in a way. Like, he wants he wants everyone to like him. Yeah, and I get that it's in a weird... But my f- main focus on all of this was it's very weird timing to the night before you're going to break your silence on Twitter and say, like, I was told not to speak about it after Same the thing, Wilbur. though, Mike. Like, he can't really win, though. Like, if he doesn't write about it, he's a pussy. If he writes about it, we've told him to write about it. 
But you can't write about it after we say write about it. Use all the points we made. <laughs> like he literally goes point by point I of guess. the things we mentioned. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm sure he listens and, to the show. And, yeah. and he kind of presents it in a way like, yeah, you know what? I just have to say it. Alex Bennett wanted to trade me on right, Twitter. Right, right, That's right, like, right. I, I know that you listen to this episode. Right. Well, I've told you. Well, I keep saying this. You'll believe he's Chris Curtis. Right. He's like, you know, I think you finally have come around on this. No, uh, no. This has made me come around. And I, but the thing is, I still like Chris and I oh, get I, Oh, I don't. Well, oh, so like I, that, I hate Chris. That, hate that caller guys. that called in on Thursday and asked me, like, can't you understand that he's in a tough position? I was like, yeah. Yes, I get I, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think he's in that tough position. I you get him tell, not. You should tell me the fuck off. Like, what? I get him not knowing what to do. I well, think a blog is a weird way to try and. This is an easy position. Do that. I don't, I don't like him. I told him, don't worry about it. Do your own thing. You should be like, fuck Kirk. He's a fucking petty asshole. Fuck him. Like, what? Sure, but I mean, that's not you, him. Have you, that's have not, you seen the responses he gets on? So everyone, you know, the Minda fans hate him anyway. It's not going to change. I not going to like him. It's over. Like, it's over. They have turned their back on him because he turned their back, his back on them. Right. That It's pl- cut and dried, plain and simple. My issue is not that he went there. It's how he went there. Yeah. He lied about this fucking days off. We've, we've, I'm not going over this shit again. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, like, it, and then he writes this thing. It's a woe is me, woe is me pity party. That's all. Like, oh... I owe everything to Kirk. Ugh, like, oh, Kirk's great. You know, he made fun of my dad like, in a joking way, but at the same time, wants to sneak in there. So it's like, oh, what an asshole. Like, I know his game. Good luck. Fuck off. Yeah, I mean, he's a non-confrontational guy, but if you've... Co- my thing is, like, if you've committed to not talking about it, where you even publicly said, I'm not supposed to talk about it. The Wilbur show, I'm not supposed to talk about it. And then the next day, after we talk about it on air, just do everything we said to do. That's, well, it's that's like, the weird It's almost like he was to told to do it. Right. You know, which I'm sure happened. Prob- well, I don't know that. Probably. So. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. What do you think? Or like, uh, maybe not told to do it, but like people are like, why haven't you written anything? Yeah, it's like just me, buddies right. around the office or something. Or he listened like to the show yeah. and it really got in his head. Yeah. That, well, so, that's the weird thing is yeah. I can know he was mad that I said that on Twitter. Well, how do you know that? Oh, because he responded. Yeah. Oh, have you, oh you've talked to him offline. No, I've, I've not. Oh, I think you have. I don't. Oh, no, no. Oh. I, I certainly haven't. Oh. Or anyone in his family. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, well, we lost a subscriber on uh, Patreon. Oh, is that right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> I believe Mike knows each one. Yeah. So, so go, well, so, Craig alerted me to this. I think he well, was refreshing go, just to make sure. Yeah. Go to blindmike.net right now, please. Yeah, make you, up for those yeah, numbers. Yeah, We're yeah, losing. I mean, Chris Clemmer always turns his back on another minute fan, Mike Geary. <laughs> so, yeah, we may, have, we may have lost someone. So I, tragedy. So I know that he was not thrilled about it, but... Then you're just acknowledging that I was right. Like, just, you know. I so never right. cross your mind he's not satisfied with the content of your blind mic. Well, the I, only, any other day. Only, any your, other day. Your only <laughs> conclusion. The any, ego, the ego any day. Any other guy. day. Any other day, I would have Maybe said. Maybe like Quincy. <laughs> The timing is what I'm we referring gotta, to. We got to get to the I point. I your mic like the problem is he, I know he likes Quincy. We used to talk about it. He loves Quincy, damn it. <laughs> and we were just about to get to Cheers. <laughs> what the fuck? So was that same day? Uh, yeah. Oh, that's funny. That's I, mean, well, funny. I should say that's when Craig alerted me to it. That's so, a clean yeah. break? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What's we that, Dave? We got to get to the point where Mike sees that someone dropped off his Patreon. And it's just not that big of a deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not. Let's get to those numbers. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, again, the last name alerted. <laughs> alerted yeah. Yeah. Wow. I alerted Craig. So I got Clemmer. The, tweet I, that out, Mike. Dave, that's breaking news. I got the Jerry alert today. Like well, hold say, on. Tweet yeah. out this big news, All though. Right. Chris Clemmer <laughs> has unsub- well, unsubscribed? Uh, or no? What's well, the correct I don't know that it was Chris. Different, oh, you different was, first name. Oh well, I mean, I'm sure it speaks. She speaks for the uh, right. Yeah, and that she's a very nice. Person. Which I get. She's by the way. I, I, I get it. Yeah, she's yeah, very yeah. supportive. I, of, uh, very Chris, nice. Which is nice. Yeah. I completely get it. Yeah. But my point. My oh, the, the only reason oh, I, I, forgot, even, I even forgot she existed. I have to say the only reason I even mentioned that is that I know it, it bothered the uh, the household. <laughs> but then, like, well, how do you know that by, other than that? By doing that, you're just saying that I'm right. Well, because you responded on Twitter also. Oh. So like. You're saying like, oh, that annoyed Mike's wrong, but then the next day you just do something you obviously think is wrong. I don't, I don't get all that. Like, right. I don't think I was that outrageously mean to him or anything, but it seems like it bugged him. But then admitted I was correct. Dave, Mike is fucking rattled about this. He is kind of, a subscriber. He's kind <laughs> of just yapping away. This is an important subscriber <laughs> this to is Mike. A killer loss. No, no, no. Was, people was, was, people was made the, up for it. Was this the five hundred dollar month subscriber? Yes, it was. was it? it was a big hit. Mike's like, I don't know. Like, he, 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 I don't. Maybe you heard me say something. I, but I didn't say anything. I like him. Well, I like okay, him. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what really bothered me about it is literally, I would say to people like, that's odd that he's writing this, the this, exact this, same. This, by the way, by was the quick quickest I ever got somebody to do this ever in my career. I'll tell you. I think it'd be this easy. 
because uh, people Mike is going to start selling out secrets about this family like you wouldn't believe it. So. <laughs> oh, you want their credit card number? I'll give it to you. <laughs> Go ahead. People texted me this article and I was like, he's saying the exact, he wrote all the things I right, told him so, to write. Yeah, yeah. And one of my buddies was like, eh, I don't know. That seems like a reach. And I was like, what are you talking about? So, it's breaking Mike. So I spent a week in arguing with people. It's clearly because of me, and no one would give me that. This Quantum Week team is broken, Mike. They've between ruined Rome me. and the showers. He, and he hasn't bought the RV yet. It might not come till October. Ooh, yes. And get a load of this. Yes, Richard Mike scream was his Look at this paragraph! I said it. If you wanted to trade him I like on Mike, I like the Mike wants all the credit for it. Like, I have nothing to do with it. I like that. No, but, I, but my, not the credit. I understand. He I addressed understand. me specifically. Okay, Mike, we understand. We understand. And then he's like, you know, I was just thinking. Hmm. Mike's thinking is very personal. <laughs> Oof, very personal. Of, this, is how, this is how much this guy cares about blind Mike Dodd, just so you know. He, yes. does this, he does this off the air with every single subscriber who leaves. I do. He just, he just he can't get enough of it. That's right, yes. Yeah, it was a very, I don't want, really want to go, I don't want to go line for line on this story. It, it just, it's just, I just think it's we'll pathetic. What are your, your favorites? Your uh, favorite? No, I was with you. It was a woe is me type of article. I, I would just rather him go scorched earth. He hates you. We, like, he clearly yeah. hates me now. That's yeah. okay. Like, he should. Why yeah. wouldn't he? Yeah. I don't get it. Yep. The way I see it, the clean rule, rule, clean bake rule got broken when Kirk was upset with some of the, 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 the like, oh, Jesus. The way I see it. Yeah, great. <laughs> you didn't, oh, wait, I'm sorry, Mike. The way Mike sees it. You didn't see it, it that sorry, way. Sorry, Mike. But even it. that, well, no, that one's you, but also it's like. Oh, oh, you, oh, you wrote down who did which? <laughs> I did. I kept score on all of this. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> but it's, it's weird. The tone of this blog is weird to be like. You know, folks, I stumbled upon an idea. Right. <laughs> that's that's my main issue. And I don't really like enough with the like Kirk's like you don't mean it. Like you don't you know you're at Barstool shitting on me with other people. Oh, it's stupid. Like I know how it works there. Like cut the shit. You know, like I hear things. It's fine. Ooh. But like but just do your do your thing. Good luck. And by clean break, I mean talk about us, but like don't fucking use them in the fans. Like they hate you as they should. Yeah. People are really like hyper analyzing the term clean break. It's basically don't be an asshole. Like don't interject yourself. I get to shit. be an asshole. You don't. That's how I look at it. Is that fair? <laughs> well, or no? Is that fair? No, <laughs> no, no. When you, no, when you like, put it that way. <laughs> no, but like, I don't, you know, we don't. You've never brought him up unless it was something that he did as part of content for Barcelona. You seem sports. to try not to bring him we up. Don't really, really, like, no, I don't really like, we, like when he left, I was like, no, but that's not, like, that, he does come up, but it's organic. But he's done because, nothing. I, I'm not saying this to be an asshole, but he's done nothing at Barstool that's even worth bringing up. Other than, like, if you look at his, I would guess this. I, I actually don't know this. Mike goes, crunches these numbers more than I do. I certainly obviously. do. If you look at the average Chris Clemmer tweet since he joined Barstool, yep. I'm going to guess the ones that are Minifan related get far more interaction than the ones that are not. Are there any Minifan related? Well, I'm saying like that story, for example. Or, oh, or oh, corresponding yeah. with you, I would or so. what? Gotcha, yes, gotcha. I would assume so. So I mean, we yeah. talk about that, but like the stuff he's like his list. No, but his entire his, content. I don't care about. Like it does. It's just not interesting. Yeah, but me. every piece of content that he's basically done has been something that he did on this show previously. But yes, but, but, so why but, would we I'll not even acknowledge? Defend, it? I'll even defend him in a way. There, like that's who he is. It's the yeah. stuff he likes. Like he likes movies in the '90s, and he likes, like that's what he does. Yeah. Like I don't really. He's not a particularly creative or talented person, so I think it's limited. So you know, I like. I, I'm not really sure what to say. He's a, yeah. you know, he's a zero. I, you know, I don't, you know, if they're going to drag, drag him down to West Virginia. It looks like Alex tweeted. Well, him he's never something. seen West Virginia. In that the was summertime. also weird. I thought that was a weird response. <laughs> well, he's, you know, and again, this is a guy, my biggest thing with Chris, uh, last thing I'll as I always said, is that he is pretending to be somebody. That's what annoys me. Now he's right. this guy and he's wacky and betting and drinking. And now he drinks during the day. And now he loves fucking, uh, uh, whoever, uh, these people at Barstool who he wouldn't even know who they were. And the singer was like, I saw him respond to some tweet the other day where he, maybe I talked about this on the show where he was like, oh, uh, I don't, because they were like, is it true that you deleted a tweet saying you didn't like Barstool or whatever? He's like, oh, I didn't really like their content until I started listening to some of it. Then I really started liking a lot of it. You're like, you're just fucking lying. <laughs> like, it's a lie. You're just a liar. Like, what the fuck are you lying about? Right. And that's where, like, I originally, I was like, oh, I can sympathize with that because, like, I get it. I, I mean, had some of the same stuff early on, but I do forget he's like, in his 40s. He's, oh, he's so, the so. phony. He's the fuck. He turned, he turned out to be a giant phony. And he used us and he got his job. So good for him. Now he gets to blog about TV Guide. You win, I guess. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know what the end game is, but good for him. Right. No? I mean, what do you think, Dave? Am I missing anything? Uh, no. I don't, I don't really think so. I just thought it was pathetic. I mean, yeah. but he's pathetic. You know, if he's down there in West Virginia, good for him. Like, he'll stand there and be afraid like he always is. Like, I'm not really sure what the... Why would he be going to West Virginia? Well, because I feel like there's a lot of people on her, her side corner, going man. for no reason. I don't really get it. I don't know, but I mean... Well, it's because of Kirk. Because they all hate me. Yeah. 
Yeah, but all the girls that are going, like are they all going? Smith, I think is going. Oh, is she really? Is going? Like, I think, I guess, well, it's a barstool event. They all do all yeah. that yeah. shit. It's a it's a power. I share a hotel with them. Oh, great. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll leave me alone. That's all. I'll be in my room alone. Let me watch my TV, and you know, I might treat myself to one of those little ice creams. And that's Ooh. it. Yeah, maybe. Just leave me alone. Where do they have those in the hotel? The Marriotts do. They get those little mini ones oh. that have the, have the spoon inside. It's actually not bad. Oh, like Dixie Cup. Hagen, Hagen das, little yes. small ones. Yeah, yes, they're pretty yes. good. The, the chocolate one is very nice. Uh, am I missing anything from that story, Mike? Because I can tell you what to talk about it. Go ahead. <laughs> it's okay. No, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I was, I'm here to talk I, about it. I said my main thing. I just, it's a, you don't find it to be a weird tone. To very be, weird. You to be just, like, you know, gang, I was thinking of this. <laughs> that's, that's the part I found bizarre. But like I, I, when he writes, he it kind of sucks to have someone you respect so much want to do nothing with you. But Kirk Minahan, like it's just oh, shut the fuck up. Oh, does it hurt? Uh, like shut the fuck up. Hurts. Yeah, you made a choice. I, You're an adult. You made a choice. Good luck. Well, I don't know about her, but I bet that does bum him out <laughs> that he's not that he's persona non You know, Mike, you know Mike, you shouldn't have lied to us about that fucking finals thing then. Right. I would agree. Like that's it. You shouldn't have lied. Like he was afraid, and he's a fucking pussy. Like he's a pussy. He just wanted now. to stop. Well, so that's been my. That's where I've started to turn with You're a Chris. Pussy, like, that's all. With uh, when you were on Portnoy's show with him. Yeah. And you were like, uh, you know what? Fuck you. We don't need you for the Wilbur. Blah blah blah. He was like, ah, come on. Like he didn't really care. Right. So I was like, oh, yeah. that's the first time I kind of saw like, ah, oh, maybe there's something to no, what he's, Kirk he's is a saying. Phony. He's a phony. Yeah. yeah, he's a phony. That's we we, we misread it. You know. Right. What is. Uh, <clears throat> Brandon Walker's texting me. Who knows? What else? Uh, what would you think about Bill Russell's jersey being retired all over the league? All right. A couple more clever thoughts, I guess. What else? <laughs> Go ahead, Mike. Let it rip. Hillary Clinton said Bernie Sanders is a sexist. you see this? I didn't see that. No. Wow. No. Okay. I did not see that. Jeffrey Tubin out at CNN. See that? I uh, did. Uh, I just like that it gave me an excuse to talk about his apology again. <laughs> That's true. Yes, yeah, so that's he, my so favorite apology ever. Well, uh, I didn't think other people could see me. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm sure he didn't. <laughs> no, my favorite line in that is he talks about. Uh, he's it's wild. A, they brought him back. Oh, so that, that's what I was going to ask you. Is, is it not weird that so he's back for about a year? Because I remember we talked about this in like June. Yes, last, that's right. So why come back at all? Or was he? Is it something where they like, feel they asked that feels him to like he's probably or? forced out eventually? Oh, right? Okay, like, yeah, because yeah. yeah. the new guy's guy, there. Yeah, a guy like that is never going to give up that job. That's okay. a cushy job. Yeah, that's you know, what didn't didn't make sense to me. But but in his apology, he was like, he goes, you know, and ju just to kind of put my track record out there, I've always been anti death penalty, mm -hmm. and I haven't been for people being funded, punished to the full extent of the law. So I hope I don't seem like a hypocrite. When I ask for some leniency. Yeah, well. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, Jeffrey, yeah. why are you comparing yourself to murderers? <laughs> <laughs> didn't he like, uh, didn't he start it by saying like, I'm working on myself. I, I started working at a food bank. Like, he oh, did really? all this stuff. Yeah, yeah there was a lot right, in there. It's, right. a great, it's an eight minute it clip camera. and every second of it is good. Yeah. <laughs> it's insane in, in the post Me Too era that he wasn't fired. I mean, Michael defend it, but it makes no sense. Like, you, you just, it's <laughs> a lot of things you, you can't masturbate, Dave. I'm sorry. You can't masturbate in a Zoom meeting. Just can't. I think about masturbating with my phone all the time. Like, what if I accidentally pull like the Larry Johnson, so, or if so, I'm streaming? That'd be so great. It's Dave just it's masturbating away on Twitter. <laughs> there were a couple. There's been a couple times since the Larry Johnson incident, the famous Larry Johnson, that it, like maybe I'll hit something. And I'm like, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> like it's in, my, it's in my mind now. Rico Bosco calling. It okay, here. go ahead. Speaking of which, probably doing it right now. Hello, Kirk. It's Jerry. Hey, Jerry, how you doing? Hey, you said uh, it was I'm on my fourth cup of coffee. And as you know, I drink Starbucks since my, uh, I'll never drink Dunkin' since my controversy. Four, <laughs> four, four cups of Starbucks, uh, Starbucks here to get through this Boston game. Jesus Christ, it's Sunday night games. Hey, they go late, don't they, Jerry? I know. You, you've uh, always Jerry, complained uh, about that. Jerry, yeah. No, Kirk, you're Jerry, Jerry. Kirk. Yeah. Kirk, it's unbelievable. No, I am Jerry. I'm, I'm delirious from this fucking game. All the coffee, Let Jerry. Me, yeah. Yeah. Let's not yeah, drink your own brand. It was only 9 o'clock. Uh, yeah. uh, horrible. Yeah. I'm calling in. Did I hear correctly? You had, I, 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 I know you need to guess. Did you have two two girls on the show last week as guests? Two What's what? Next? You gonna let them vote? <laughs> <laughs> did I have two girls? Oh, I guess I did. The two fighters. You're right. Yeah. So you're, against, of, so you're against women voting, Jerry? Speak, speaking of girls, what the hell is going on at the Colony House? We got Kathy Man in the grill. <laughs> Jack might be. He might as well be castrated. <laughs> What was do, that? Do you, do you, castrated. <laughs> oh, okay. Do you want to respond to that, David? You're talking about your parents. Well, I mean, it's just something Jack doesn't do. It is what it is. I think do it's empowering. Miss, I think it's empowering for Kevin. Do you miss having Dave as your producer, Jerry? 
like I missed a hole in the head. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought you'd say that. Very good. I thought you'd say that. What else, Jerry? That's it. You know, I just think it gets soft. I, let me tell you something, Joe. You know, jo, uh, you, you see Joey B fell off the bike. Who? Oh, I, but that was a while ago, Jerry. I did see that. Joe Biden fell off a bike, Mike. Yes, uh, I, let me tell you something. That's when, on when, the when news. When DT comes back, he ain't falling off any bikes. And those girls are going to be banned from your show. We're going to get back to when men were men. Like when Marty Wolf was, was a man in the office. <laughs> okay, thank you, Jerry. Good to talk to you. Is he a yeah, Marty Walsh good guy? Sunday night. Thank you, Jerry. What's that? Is Jerry a big Marty Walsh guy? I know. We, we If you remember, famously battle Marty That's Walsh. what I thought. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. It's an interesting Jerry call. What did you say about Jerry? You had the Jerry alert? Is that what you said? Yeah, I got an alert that was like, you're, uh, you have to renew your subscription to the Jerry Callahan Oh, show. you're doing it? I'm going to give it a little thought this time. I'm going to give it a little thought. Well, Ooh. Craig will be watching. Yeah. That's true. That's true. He will be watching. How much is it? It's like $6 a oh, month? Oh, no. It's $5 a month or something. You're going like to do it or not? Yeah, I'll do it. I'll support Jerry. I must have my... Has it been a year? I've been doing it for a year now. No, I don't really like Jerry well, that much anymore. Oh, either. yeah. Yeah, no, because this is probably around when Carano joined him, right? Um, Summer of last year? Yeah, I guess so, he left. Right? Is that... No. Is, no. That long ago? No. Yeah. Must be. He left in like February. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Huh. Yeah. What else? Uh, that's about it. That's about exciting. it? Yeah, there's nothing exciting that's going about on. about it. Yeah. No, we'll take some calls. I'm going to talk about Deshaun Watson. I apologizing don't. to women? I don't. No, well, yeah, what happened? I thought it was six games. Why is it? It's a year now? Officially? I figured it'd always be. Yeah, I figured it always. I mean, Goodell can do whatever he wants. So that just wasn't official when it came out? It doesn't even matter. Like, I don't know. They do this, but Goodell can then do as long as he wants. Yeah. Like with Brady. Like, he can do whatever he wants. Right. There was no way it was going to be just six games for that. Well, the, I, the only thing I'm confused on is, did they not they said announce it? it? Yeah. I thought well, they, they announced said six games. They announced that's what the ruling was. Right. Oh, so it was a, it was a suggestion. Yeah, it was yeah. By, the, uh, by, the, by the judge, right? Or gotcha, whatever. Yep. So Goodell, oh, oh, okay. I think, right? So Goodell says, well, fuck that. We'll right. Like, who was the judge uh, in the Brady thing, remember? It was like... The Wells report? Or in no, that's the, Jeffrey. But I mean, whoever the... Not Jeffrey Wells. The so, judge... Sorry. I forget, but anyway, like, yeah. He was just offering his recommendation. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Now, like, I recommend BetterHelp for myself. You're listening to the show, then I get back on this. BetterHelp Online Therapy. Online therapy that offers video, phone, even live chat only therapy sessions. So you have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable. I have seven texts from Brandon Walker right now. About what about? Being mean uh, to women again? It's a good question. Uh, I'm on air right now. He's saying read a few of them. Give us some deeds. I'm asking if I can read right now. Uh, so you go to BetterHelp uh, Online Therapy. Uh, much, much quicker than traditional therapy. Uh, much cheaper, as a matter of fact, too. And just better online therapy. Better for yourself. Better for your brain. You can talk about whatever you want. You go to BetterHelp Online. B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P uh, dot com slash Kirk 10. BetterHelp dot com slash Kirk 10. BetterHelp dot com slash Kirk 10. Go to BetterHelp right now. Better therapy online talk it all out get it all out i mean i would do it with uh uh content kim and alex band when the fight's over if we want to ha hash this all out mm, well, all together nice. in one room yeah, yeah. yeah that'd be fine god knows i could i mean good recovery from the fight i mean obviously one of us three will not be able to speak <laughs> i was gonna say she's gonna need a little time yeah, right? yeah. i think that's yeah. really gonna yeah. work well, yeah. sometimes it's important to just listen that's exactly right mike betterhelp.com slash curtain betterhelp.com do you have brandon walker's number or no uh, let me check i don't think so what is this? Because you don't want to go into a, a ring with Brandon Walker present. No. It should be dangerous. Not. I don't know which side Brandon's on. This. Do you have his number or no? I do not. It was nice to see Riggs supporting you. I know we mentioned that earlier, but that kind of came out of nowhere. He's just supporting the cause, I guess. Yeah. He's a fan. He's a friend. He's a, you know. Or does guy. he hate Alex Bennett? We just don't know. I think Maybe he is so far on. removed from. He may not know who that is. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> God love him. Being broken is a weird title. Just a weird story. The whole story made me just creepy. Clean, honestly, creepy. Clean broken makes you think, I think. You know? It does. You might not. Oh, I won't know it's you, Dave. Oh, I thought you said we're calling. Did you say we're calling? I did not. No. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> well, here's the point. So I didn't say anything. I was reading Better Help Online Therapy, ironically, and I saw I had seven messages from you. And I asked you because we're friends. Uh, did you do, yep. want, do you want me to read the content of these messages? And then you said, oh, fuck me. I don't know if that was a request or if you wanted uh, me not to read them. If, if not, I won't read them. As a friend, I wouldn't do that. I mean, listen, the offer is always on the table. Uh, you don't have to read it. Can I just tell it? 
Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's huh. that's even better, don't you think, Mike? I suppose I don't know. What yeah. It is. Okay. I haven't talked to you, Brandon. We've, we, Brandon, we've texted a few times, but let me just say, I'm, I'm, I don't think we've talked. I'm sorry about your uh, your dad passing away. Oh well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yeah, it's been a, it's been the worst summer of my life, and I, I've uh, it's, it's been a massive struggle. Anyway, if you well, well, well but if you if you had to if you had to rank the compassion from Barstool uh, coworkers, am I at least above like halfway? I would say, I mean, it's a very low bar. I would say, uh, <laughs> I think seven people have mentioned it, and you, you, yeah, no, you're you're top three. You hear that, Mike? That's very nice. Well, who is who? Who are you most disappointed? This is why I love when people. When my parents died, I was almost more interested in who didn't step up. Like, is right, there somebody? Is there a friend at Barstool or somebody you expected to be compassionate who has not been? No, I, I'm sure. I, I'm sure everybody was compassionate. I don't know. You know how it is when it happens. It's such a fucking whirlwind. And it you, is. And you just look up. You just look up and you're like, oh fuck, that that was two weeks went by and I didn't even notice anything. So I really didn't notice anybody other than the fact that you know. Um, no, I think everybody pretty much checked in on me once or twice. But you've checked on, in on me like multiple times. How long have you been sick for? Uh, he was uh, he lived a he lived a hard life. He oh was, yeah, he was into the meth, the meth and the cocaine. He oh, uh, well, yeah. he was he was he was only seventy. He he was sick for about a year. Okay, but it ended okay. Did you, did you get a chance to to talk to him or? Uh, well, I, I I didn't realize we were doing this on a Sunday night. Kurt. I apologize, Brandon, but yes, go ahead. You're here. <laughs> I was, I'm just I'm sitting at the fucking beach and just chilling. And okay, uh, yeah, no, I flew down on a Thursday and got there Friday morning. Uh, I talked to him for about an hour alone, and he, he passed away. Uh, oh, Friday good for night. you. Well, good for you. You got good. You yeah. got that. That's yeah. good. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Good. Yeah. Good. So well, let's get yeah. to more. Let's get to more important things. Your dad's dead. My dad's dead. Who cares? We can't fix that. We we, we need the big information right now. So. So you are friends, good friends now with Chris Klemmer, and evidently you had some conversation with him. Oh, wait. Well, uh, hold on. Hold, hold, time, time, what, what time? time. You're, no, what? You're, you're putting words in my mouth there. Well, you told me you, you told me you like the guy. I do like the guy. I didn't okay. say we were friends. I've talked to, him, talked to him like three times. Are you part of this? Are you going to be part of this Alex Bennett group down in West Virginia or no? No. Apparently, they're sending half of the fucking company to try to make this thing work. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I'm not going. They, got me, they have me tap dancing for it. I mean, what else do you need to know? You're going? I'm going. I'm 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 uh, supporting her opponent, Cupcake, my friend. Kirk, you won't do shit for anybody. You're going I, that's West Virginia not for true. Her. That is not true. He will do things to spite people. Yes, that's that, what you're missing. Uh, yeah, I hate everyone at the company except for you. At this point, Brandon Walkman, my, my best friend at the fucking company. That's all you need to know. So yeah, full circle, and, and a real sad story for both of us. No right, kidding. So I'm sitting so, there the so other good. day. Yeah, go ahead. Paint the picture. I, I'm, I'm sitting there, and Clemmer walks up to me, and we're talking. You know, we like to talk about the 95 Mariners and Major League Two and sure. international sure. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so so we're, we're talking, and, and I said, hey, hey, Clem. I call him Clem. Ugh. I say, hey, Clem, <laughs> uh, what's, what's, uh, <laughs> what, what's going on with you you and Minahan and them? And he said, he said well, Kirk hates me, and, and, yeah, and I, got, I got this vlog coming out in 30 minutes, and I think it's going to be, you know, I want to see how the reaction is. And I said, well, it's probably going to be pretty poor, Chris. And, uh, so I, I said, I said, Hey man, don't you just want to tell, <laughs> he, he, he tells me about the men's hands. He tells me about you. He tells me about everybody. And I say, uh, don't you, why don't you just do this, Clemmer? Just tell all Minna fans to fuck off and die. Which is what he I just, which is dead. what I, what I, sorry, Brendan, I'll, I'll let you fit, but which, I said he should have done, Dave, what did I say, Mike, 20 minutes ago? Yeah. yeah. yeah so that's right what, that's, at this point, I hate him. He hates me. Like, tell me the fuck off, but go ahead. Listen, Kirk, I, I said, tell all Minna fans to fuck off and die. And this dude looks me dead in the face and said, well, at that point, I would have to kill myself. And I said, <laughs> I said, what? He said, I, I'm a Mena fan. I would have to kill myself. I said, Chris, stop being a Mena fan. <laughs> no. And he just, and, and he goes, he starts telling, I said, why, why are you a fan this much? And he, he goes in detail. But the man was ready to kill himself because I told Mena fans, hypothetically, sure. to die on his behalf. There's a little bit well, of, woe, something. there's a little bit of woe is me there with Chris though. I don't, that's the same thing. I don't like that. Yeah, but I he didn't like know that, that would be public information that's true i suppose well i mean look if he, if he wants to do he's got to do what he's got to do i'm not gonna get, get in the way of the guy's life but <laughs> how do you collect how do you collect these people these people well, you, you work with him not me you work with him you collected work, him yeah you work with him i don't you, work with you, him you got you got him in the universe i didn't get him in the universe all you ever say other than when you say i suck is how talented i am maybe it's because i'm really talented brandon you ever think of that yeah you're talented but fuck man shit and what's left to say about the fucking natural jesus christ <laughs> 
Yeah, I, I see. We, that's that's one we have a problem with because I'm not a big natural fan. I think it's too slow. Yeah, you know what? The, 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 you get rid of the Glenn Close stuff. The Barbara Hershey stuff doesn't work. It doesn't. It, it doesn't work. The movie doesn't work. It, the only Wilford Brimley as the manager kind of works. Very good. Uh, that's about Richard it. Farnsworth is good as the assistant manager too. Very good. Yeah, but 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 to me, the baseball movie Renaissance doesn't start till 1988 when Bull Durham and uh, Eight Men Out and Field of Dreams come out when the three months span each other. Yeah, I don't like Field of Dreams that much, but I agree with you on the other two. I agree. With well, eight men out is very underappreciated. I agree. No, you and I agree. Well, maybe someday we'll talk about that in the podcast about the 1980s. Who's to say? Oh, uh, well, I thought we already recorded that. That's true. Oh, that's true. Yeah, we do the nineties at some point. All right, go enjoy the beach. <laughs> All right. Have fun boys. All right. See you, buddy. My good friend, Brandon Walker. So he just texted you that story. Yeah, but I didn't want to tell. I mean, I don't know what, what's private. And what is it between guys? Who am, sure. I, assuming, you know, who am I to say? Well, but, it's big of you. But again, it's Chris like, eh, well, you know what I'm saying? Same thing. Top five worst stories I've ever heard. I wouldn't say top five words. That's a good story. That's a behind the scenes bar story. No, that's like a sneaky way to like, oh, he's a good guy, Kirk. Why don't you lay off him? Oh, yeah, but again, so none of, of this was br- meant for broadcast. Well, he brought, you just said it. Oh, you're saying what Chris was I'm talking. Sa- I'm saying Chris was talking to Brandon privately and Brandon yeah. texted you Everything's privately. Bro- Everything's broadcast. Yeah, I don't Everything's know. He works at They just know that your mind, you're going to say it at some point. Did anybody watch stool scenes? Was there a camera like right on them during this conversation? They're oh, just interesting. Oh. That'll be interesting to see rolling. if that comes out. Everything's rolling. Hmm. Very Could good be. point, Dave, because Brandon's a big wrestling guy. It's all for drama. Brandon fucking Walker. Yeah. We've come a long way, the two of us, though. Oh, for sure. I will say that. We've come a long way from him complaining to Eric about the fact that I was being mean to Kate, who I also get along with. That now. was only last year. Actually, Two years ago. Just got an email. No, no, no. <laughs> he complained again last year, remember? No, he did. Um... Was it Kate or was it someone else? Maybe it, so. maybe it was two years ago then. Maybe I'm I wrong. think it was two years ago. Oh, it was okay. when I was out, I think. I thought there was something again last year. No, I think it was two years. Uh, you might be right. right. Kind of. What's that, Dave? You got what? I just got an email from Erica Nardini. Everything okay? Wondering the plans about uh, Rough and Rowdy featuring Kirk Minahan. She did not know you were attending, so now Ooh. she knows. Is she, opt- is she glad I'm going or not glad? She seems She seems glad. I'll be there. Yeah, so people I'm might gonna resign. Be, I'm going to be there Thursday and Friday hanging out with Cupcake. That is correct. You know, getting ready, doing whatever. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm a team player. You, know, you need to collect spit buckets, still work the bag, yep. do some training, whatever she needs. That's not where you go here. Will you give a big inspirational speech of any kind? I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut some. I have some stuff lined up. Okay. Yeah, I'm mm-hmm. ready to go. Any history to that arena? Is there anything uh, unique about that place? I've never heard of it. Is there or no? I don't know. What the hell are you asking me that question? For? I don't know, usually, sometimes I'm hunting in West Virginia. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Yeah, sometimes they do it in these like weird venues where there's some history to it. You know, like professional. Look it up. I don't know. Well, I'm asking if you looked it up. <laughs> there was a fucking right monster now, you're truck the one show going. there once. You're the one going. I'm not going right. Why do I care about the building? Why even go if you don't know the history? <laughs> the building. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm glad you're going to go, Dave. We had a lot to it. You know what? You should go. So your, your kids have to listen to your stupid fucking Rubbing thoughts. the walls. Wow, the stories this old gal could tell. Oh, my God. Jeez, yeah. 30 years ago, fucking what if there was Crosby, Crosby Stills and Nash played here. Wow. There's a WCW house show here 36 years ago. Macho Man fought an independent yeah, fight. Junkyard there. Dog wrestled here once. <laughs> What's left? What am I supposed to... Wow, Dennis Wolfberg did a stand-up <laughs> comedy special here. I don't know. What the hell do I know? Uh, <laughs> the history of the venue. You're an idiot. I'm going to look up the history. Look it up. Good. All right. Want to take some calls? Sure. All right. There you go. Load it up. Jerry Callahan and Brandon Walker on the same night. Back to back. <laughs> Jerry Callahan was bizarre. <laughs> what, I wonder what... No. <laughs> I don't know. It made me laugh. What inspired just Jerry the, to call? Just, just the oddity of it made yeah. me laugh. Yeah. So Jerry's not even aware of his own brand of coffee. And he doesn't drink it. Or maybe he thought you were talking privately, you know? You don't think he drinks Callahan coffee? You just heard the man. He drinks Starbucks. That doesn't seem like a Jerry drink to me. You think, no. So you think the real Jerry's a Starbucks guy? Evidently, I yeah. I don't think Jerry's a Dunkin' guy, though. I don't think. He's certainly not. Well, I, think heard? He, I think he... I think he uh, what are you, ears clogged, fellas? Well, no, peanut butter in there? Well, no, I know, but like... Is he really not a Dunkin' guy? Like, he, the I don't... fuck knows, Dave? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> What's the history of that? <laughs> Yes, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. All right, call Jerry. He does hold you the got grudge. Jerry's He's really baffled about this. He does hold the grudge. <laughs> Which Jerry? The one we just talked to or the other Jerry? The other Jerry. Okay, he does hold the grudge. He does. Hello. <sighs> Idiot. No, I'm really interested about his coffee. What kind does he drink? <laughs> How many does he have in a day? Do you think he gets too much caffeine? Did he have four Starbucks tonight, Mike, or no? Felt like a lot. Yeah. At this hour, no less. Jerry Wicked playing about the start of a baseball game. That is for sure. <laughs> he was always so... Are they loaded up, Dave? They're loaded. All right, hold up. 
He was always so angry that the NBA Finals game would start at 9.06. I remember, <laughs> this is what a nerd I was. We used to fight about this. Yeah. I remember listening in high school to Dennis and Callahan, uh-huh. and they would bitch about the start of the World NBA Series or whatever. Final, or maybe yeah. the World Series. Yeah, NBA yeah, whatever, Finals, for sure. Whatever it was. And I, was, and I would be like, yeah, it is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go to school in the morning. <laughs> I remember being having a fight with them about it. The first year, I was, second, whatever year I was there. and Because the NBA Finals game started, whatever, 9.08, right? Yeah. And I would say to them, you guys do realize, like, in Los Angeles, since that's 6 o'clock. And Sarah, Fuck them. Like, these, like, these people have to get home from work. Right. Just they all work. They're all in the boon, the boon, die. Like, all worked up. I'm like, all right. Start a game at the World Series afternoon game. I'm like, well, it's like 11 o'clock on the West Coast. I remember. Then. They won me over. I was like, boys, you're right. <laughs> Hello. Good evening. Kirky. Yes, good evening. Kirky, how's it going? It's going fine. Um, I saw Big Cat last week in uh, in Denver. Told him he's got to get on the show soon. Um, where where's he been? Just hiding in Boston somewhere? Uh, we have him. <laughs> I've been talking. I talked to him a bunch the past couple of days, a few times in the last week or so, and he'll be on. He'll be on pretty soon. Oh, good. Good. Yeah, I even said I was like Newton Mass. Huh? He's like, he's like, oh, I know. Yeah, we'll probably. I, you know, I won't be surprised if I have him on when I'm down in West Virginia. Honestly, definitely. Nice. Love to hear it. Love to hear it. Yeah. Right. Love Thank the show. You. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Fuck off. Hello. Alonzo Mosley, FBI. Hello, Alonzo. How are you? Good, Kirk. You got a rat in the circle. Okay. I'm ready, Alonzo. Let's hear it. You know who runs Content Kim's fucking Twitter? I don't. Uh, I don't. Oh, do you know this, Mike? Go ahead. Yeah. Who? I think it's the man you may have just mentioned. Brandon Walker? No, no, no. Is it the man Jerry from... Callahan? Oh, Alonzo, Alonzo is the man from Newton. Jerry Callahan runs it? <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Big Cat runs her Twitter account? There's Big something Cat like that. Twitter yeah. account. Yeah. He's staring at Frank Kirk. <laughs> Rico's now texting us in character as Jerry Callahan, by the way, Mike. <laughs> is it? Yeah. Are you sure Jerry doesn't just have access to Rico's phone? Maybe there never was a Rico. Maybe it's Jerry in makeup the whole time. My Tremendous amount of work. That's what he was really going to pitch to Car- uh, Corolla, but it wasn't ready yet. I got this guy. The end of the trivia gets the last question wrong. Just reveal, takes off the ma- makeup and just reveals himself. All right, thanks for the call. I don't, I don't like Dan is running content games Twitter. Again. Well, no, so there is something... Yeah, I, I don't know. He's mentioned it before. Sure. I, I'm confused by it. Well, so. whatever. I don't know. She's, some, defending some her, she's defending her daughter. What are you going to do? Yeah, that wasn't Dan tweeting about you. Well, maybe it was. Maybe she's it was. a horrible person. Yeah. She's a horrible woman. What are you going to do? Hello. Hey, Kirk and the boys. Good evening. Hello. Uh, I was wondering, I have two quick questions. Did you watch the final playoff round of the PGA? Whatever. Zalatoris finally won, huh? Today? Yeah, it's about wild. damn time, but that wild last finish. hole wild that last hole is insanity. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Have you ever I know you're a golf historian. Have you ever seen a shot like Zalatoris's where it bounces six times on stone? No, it was crazy. It doesn't was go crazy. in the water. Absolutely crazy finish. I'm glad for his I like Zalatoris. I'm happy he won. Yeah, I think he's one of the next golfers up in that younger generation. Brave take. And I have one other quick question. Yeah. So, I'm 24, and like you, both my parents are dead. Good. My dad died in September of 2020. Yep. And my mom in January of this year. Okay. So and my, my question is, how do, you stay, how do you stay sober? It's day by day, brother. Day by day. Why you're not? Are you? Are you? Are you trying to stay sober? Are you sober currently? Uh, I mean, mostly <laughs> weed, a little bit of alcohol. Yeah. But. Well, you don't have to. You don't have to. Kind of related to it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I find the cleaner for me. It's just a better way to. For me, it's a cleaner way to think. It's a clean way to get through life. Um, but you know, I mean, not everybody who has a drink or something is necessarily an alcoholic either. Like, if if you like to have a beer or two or True. do whatever to relax, that's perfectly fine as long as you're under control. If you can stop, if you have one, but you feel like you have to have ten, then you should stop. You know, if you don't, then you should be all right. There are people out there. You know, who can handle it? There are people out there like people in my family or, you know, people who gave birth to Dave who can't. And that's how it works. <laughs> did you did you have problems with it when you first quit? Because now you don't have any desire, right? Yeah, it was just time. Like, again, I, I, I've said, like, I wasn't this crazy. I just knew, 
Like I couldn't have one. I had to have 10. Right. It wasn't like I had to do it every day. I just was like, I just can't have this in my life. So, the, But there was never a time where you were like, uh, like white, white knuckling? No, 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 no. It wasn't like, no, no. Yeah. I was not in that. No, 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 no. Both yeah, my, bro- I'm the same uh, way, my like, brother was the same. Definitely was, binge drinker. Yeah. Okay, well, I, mean, I don't care this much about this guy, Dave. Like, what are we gonna do? I'm sorry his parents are dead. He's <laughs> obviously drunk driving right now, but what can I do? I like that he had to bullshit I wish his, a golf question first. Just to ask the, yeah. I wish his phone was a better connection. No, I would just say to him, like, first of all, I'm very sorry about his parents. It's important to note my parents died much closer in time, like, nearer to each other than his parents did. You think that's sadder? I just think it's more tragic. Right. For sure. Right. Uh, but he's much younger than I am, so that's also sad in a way. Um, but no, like, I would just say, you know, like... I don't think it's super serious, but if you think you have a problem, you know, there's certainly places you can go to and talk to people about it. But if it's something where, like, you have a beer or two at night and it's fine and it makes you feel a little better and you sleep a little better, that's okay, too. Right. A couple of ciders. Look at Mike. Mm. You know? <laughs> yeah. DM me. I'll save your life. That's, that's right. Yeah, or just talk it, to Dave. I've, I've, done done it, I've done it before. I'll You're in a dark again. time. Completely PR oh, nope, made nope, up oh, story. Oh, <laughs> nope. Done it before. Do it again. Okay. Hello. Are you loaded up? Yep. All right. It's Sunday night. The Lord's Day. You know, Shark Tank Kirk. season premiere. One second. Shark Tank season premiere this year is live, Mike? Really? Yes. That could get That's interesting. Got to be like three mm. hours. That's a lot not? of pressure on those uh, contestants. Yeah. The average pitch, well, we'll and... talk to Kev about it, but the average pitch is like an hour and a half, you know? Really? And they just condense it down. Yeah, yeah heavily yeah. edited. So how long are they there then? Film? That's what I'm saying. I, 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 oh, oh I, I bet you they have the... Uh, the Jeopardy schedule, right? They just come in for like a week and just bang everything but out. That's what I mean. That's almost crazier if each pitch is an hour. Well, you're going to you find know? out, Mike, August 31st. That's very exciting. I'll be asking those questions. All right. I will. I will. Listening in. Thank you. Yeah, don't say anything during that. Shut your fucking mouth during the internet. Yeah, that right? shouldn't be is a that pro- the day? August never, never been a problem Ooh. before. What's that? What's What's August 31st? Ooh, Wednesday? Day of the week of Wednesday? Yeah. Okay. Why? What? Working on some stuff that could conflicts. <laughs> Big we con- talked about earlier today or no? Did I no. text you that today? Remember the one I texted you last night? Shut up for a second. Idiot. What? Uh, Give me a hint. I think I texted you last night. Last night? Yes. That could be a huge conflict. Relax. Last night. Let me go through our text. Thanks. There's thanks, a lot of thanks, them. Thanks. There's thanks. Lot thanks. <laughs> Good night. Oh, I don't want to play in that thing. Sleep tight. Oh, really? No. Dave wants me to play in the fucking pro am at the live event. <laughs> Why not? Why not? I don't want to play in the live event. That fat ass Clay Travis coward. Why can't you? I don't want to play. I don't want to play in a live event. Imagine you don't think you, you were... compete. No, that's exactly it. Yeah, I, I mean, don't if we're gonna go get there. murdered if I don't play well. <laughs> why? Why would you rather do your interview on the course than like sitting down? Because I don't like. I'm, I really don't support. If you're live going golf. to the live event, you support. Live. Wait, that's not true. If you're a media member asking tough questions, that's absolutely it's not, the not true. It's the number one hurdle. Like that is not booking for that couples not, that right now. Not. It's the number one. Say this again. So if you're what, there as the a media thing? member, do you yeah. support it? But we've been doing this since before live started. Go on. What's that? I mean, media members have interviewed murderers. and you know, Of course, <laughs> if I'm going there asking them, why are you doing this? There's no remember, difference between playing golf Dave, and the you program. are so fucking stupid. If I bring on Phil Mickelson and ask him a bunch of tough questions, that is an on, anti- On location. Yeah, but at, I'm not, at a live event. I'm not saying we're here. Go buy tickets. I'm not going to do that. Yeah. What are you, fucking nuts? No, I don't think you're going to be like a whore about it, but I don't Dave, think it's a different... you are so fucking dumb, I can't even believe <laughs> well, you are. Like, you go from like zero to 60. <laughs> like, there, if you Mike, are, you understand what I'm saying? Are you on now? the premises of a live yeah. event? Are you on the premises of a live Jesus event? Jesus Christ, Dave. If I go to, a, to Mike's point, if I go and interview a fucking Ted Bundy. Yep. When he went to Fenway, was that supporting the Red Sox? No. <laughs> if I go interview Ted Bundy, am I supporting him? <laughs> no. Then what the fuck are you talking about? Okay, so playing golf. <laughs> <laughs> you've you you've convinced me. Yes, playing okay. golf. You that never crossed your mind? Dave's a great guy to um, debate. I just don't give a shit about it. it. So I don't like, ego. No, Dave's a great guy Why would you... debating himself. You? <laughs> yeah, right. You're that into it that you wouldn't play golf with like a I don't support. I don't like the I don't like what I don't like what the Saudis do. I don't like it. I don't support it. Interesting. Okay. That's all. I mean, I got not uh, go make as much money as you want. It's yeah. freak you know what well, they're not a free country, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But I'm not gonna go there and play slap it. That's just not, you know. My friend, the Jay Monahan, too. Don't forget that. That's true. I forgot about yeah. that. All right, hello. Hey, Monahan, also the detective's name. Hello. <laughs> uh, I think this is Rico. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's Jerry uh, or not. Just texting yeah. us right now. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, Did Col- oh, shut up for a second. But I'm sorry. Did Colin just say you'll stop people from drinking? Kathy pregames uh, for brunch for Christ's sakes. I invited her to the studio once. She asked if it was an open bar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what's going on here, Mike. It's good know. to know. I can feel my phone vibrating. <laughs> it's good to know that's what it is. Uh, hello. Is that Jerry I or is that Rico? You, I, I, I it's am, Jerry. Okay. Look, Kirk, I am, I'm, I am, you know, 
a, a first time caller, a long time listener. You waited for this. And I, I just have to say, like, it's tough, tough following calls. You know about golf, like Zalatoris's six bounces, and what do you uh, got? What do you got? What do you got? Other uh, what do you got? Stuff you have going on like that, but um, listen, I I for one, I'm from Buffalo. Get My to the point, Roger. Roger, get to the point, Roger from Buffalo. I, I, am I don't so care excited. what your fucking name is. What do you want to say, Roger? Some 18 years ago, I came out of Dayton, Ohio. <laughs> Jesus, uh, <laughs> back on the map. What's that, buddy? I am. So so looking forward to watching this sad, sadistic, sympathetic face of Alex Bennett sitting back on the mat, looking up at the the tweedly lights in the in, in, in the rafters. I, Hang up on this guy, please. No, 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 no. Why don't no, you have to I, give I, us your I, resume? I, for that? <laughs> well, you need to set. I mean, if anybody anybody can say that, Mike. But if Roger from Buffalo says that, it's totally different. He's gonna yeah, come back strong. Sure, you want Alex Bennett to lose, but does it ever snow where you are? <laughs> hey Mike, how stupid are you? <laughs> that guy's calling from Tucson. It's a totally different take. I, I feel completely differently about that. It doesn't sound like you live where there's a professional football team. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Which uh, movie did Clemmer have on his list this week? Do we know? In the I 90s. I don't know. No. Let me pull it up. Thanks a lot, Mike. I'm really not that obsessed with him. <laughs> Election. Oh, that's a good movie. 96. It is a good movie. It's a good movie. I'd reckon higher, Chris. Okay, book him. Would you we can talk about that? Hello. Hey, Kirky. Good evening. Hey, I figured out a way for uh, one guy to run clear across South Dakota in two hours for minute fans across America. Okay, good. I'm, I'm, I'm open to the suggestion. Yeah, you just tell uh, Jerry that Kathy's fingering her box on the border of Montana. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> What? Two hours. You think it would take him two hours? Jerry Callahan, you're saying? He does. He has a motor on. Maybe an hour. He can move pretty how, quick. You, hour think an, you think an hour? How 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 many miles is that? Caller, Dave. How many miles is that? Do you know caller or Dave or no? Nope. Huh. So you're saying, Dave? Dave I don't mean to be graphic. Nope. Just do we gotta do. But you're saying that you, Dave's <laughs> mother would be doing that to herself. Jerry would be so excited by that that he would sprint across South Dakota. That's right. quite an image. Did you ever meet your mom? No. Okay. Hmm. Do you think that's true, Dave? Or no? Jackie. Ma- Sorry. <laughs> oh, Jackie McMahon, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I had a feeling it was that call. <laughs> oh, God. Now I get Casey Smith texting me. I get Rico Box. Oh, everyone. What's what Casey Smith say? Did I criticize her earlier? Or no? I didn't hear anything. You did. Personally. Yeah, you did. Oh, Jesus. Nothing God. crazy. Oh, God. Save it for Reddit. Would you leave me alone? I'm just try to get through. Just try to get through a show. <laughs> God, everyone. Everyone. It's, you know what? It feels so much better. When everyone hates you. Everyone hates you, but they seem to be watching live, apparently. I feel like the show is like a, a little bit of a run right now. I don't know. Because of the live? Yeah, just everything. We'll just oh, fuck. We'll, we'll, that's what it is. It's all Because I'm, I'm, I'm hosting it, Dave. That's why. Yeah, that's I true. don't know about that. Yeah, I, I think people just see, oh, something's on YouTube right now. Sorry, wasn't that live? Uh, <laughs> Let me watch. Yeah, I think that fucking Democratic <laughs> debate with Jerry and Tom Shattuck was live, wasn't it? That's right. That's why uh, I hate Jerry right now. He doesn't play along with shit. Like he doesn't. Pl- I know he, he never, never did. did. I know, that's but the, like, that's what's funny about but it. But like, he didn't play along with any of the people who were wishing he got canceled from Tucker Carlson. Like, that's funny. Like, is he getting funny. mad at him or no? Well, he like liked tweets that were oh, like, "Dave's he, an Jerry, asshole." Jerry's a Jerry loves. Jerry's a big any positive tweet about himself liker, which is a huge. Well, I do that as well. Well, it's, I know it's a knock on both of you. <laughs> what the fuck does it matter? Well, you're acknowledging the person. Oh, what a moment for them. Okay, okay, let's let's put it into real life. Someone walks up to you and says something nice. Do you just not make eye contact? With one Generally. Time? But you <laughs> Eight do. times out of ten. Okay, yeah. yes. I'm asking the wrong guys. Yes. But I'm just saying it seems like a polite thing to do. That's not why Jerry does it. Jerry has more followers than me. It might get tedious. He's very, he's very polite. Yeah. Yeah, you know, he's, he's never been playful, though, Dave. I know. You're right. Got a tremendous amount of buzz off that appearance. Hello. He, Hello Jerry would be yeah. a great character if he got as mad at the trolls as he seems to. Like, if he put that out there. That would be fun to watch. That would be funny. That would <laughs> yeah. be funny. They load up, Dave? They're loaded up. All right, we'll take a few more. Buy Mike.net, by the way. Please. Thank moving. you, yes. Get moving there. And if you want to subscribe, we'll know. Ooh, Jesus, will you ever? October coming up. Hey, it's, uh, live Roger, it's uh, Roger from Buffalo. Hey, Roger, what's up? Roger. <laughs> hey, uh, now that it's been about a year of Kirk, Mike, and Dave, mm-hmm. instead of Kirk, Mike, and Steve, I was wondering when you were going to change the name of the show from KMS to KMD. Ah, the Kirk Minahan mm. dialogue. Oh, like Kirk Min. No, Kirk, Mike, Steve. 
So Kirk. That's the fun. Yes, Dave. Dave. That's the got fun, it. Dave. Got yeah. it. That's what you meant. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you didn't know that, <laughs> sir. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> I didn't know that was. I didn't How know did you come up with that? Joke. Sorry, Mike. That's that's why we'll never do oh, it. Oh no, I wasn't bashing you, sir. Dave, Dave will never. Dave will never be able to keep up with that kind of change. It'll take him forever to do that. So, oh, we'll do it soon. We'll do it soon. Good. No, I just I just like seeing Steve's name on the title. It's not going to change. It won't change. Carl. AMS. I'm glad I get second billing. Thank you, Roger. Hey, Craig. It's uh, Andrew from Chicago. Hello, Andrew. I uh, just wanted to let you know. Uh, Alex Bennett said uh, her husband cheated on her at some point, <gasps> so uh, you could have some fun with that. Near, oh, that sounds uh, like a ooh, fun topic. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play around with that one. Adultery. Yeah. <laughs> Involving a coworker. Oh, Your thoughts. And also, I was thinking, can we get a bounty program? You know, ovary punches. Uh huh. Like below the belt. Okay. Broken nose. I think. I'll just tell you. We could really craft. Well, thank uh, you, Andrew. Fun for cupcake. Thank you, Andrew. I mean, cupcake just looks like a absolute machine. It's ridiculous. I don't, I don't even know. Yeah, it's no. I, I, if I didn't hate Alex Bennett, I would be concerned. Mm. But I'm ready. I mean, this is I'm just walking her out, dancing a little bit, saying my shit, and then getting out of the way. I feel like Alex is like talking as if she has a chance. I don't know, what's she gonna do? Talking, she doesn't have a chance. Maybe she could build this up as the underdog. Guy. No, she should fighter. play it up as like I'm just. I want to give this a shot. I know. I, I know it's a long shot for me. I'm gonna give it my best shot. Here's All the problem though: is she's more famous. She's got more money. Like no one's gonna root for her. People want to see her get her ass kicked. Maybe right. she can embrace that. Brandon's saying she's bringing half the company with her. Yeah, it seems for like. For somebody who is like not even, uh, she's not even relevant to the company. Oh, half the company's going for her? I thought they meant the fight in general. Oh, I'm, oh, you might be right. I don't know. Who's that'd calling now? Yeah, that'd be a little much boss, it was yeah. just for her. Mm-hmm. Or is it? Uh, hello? Hello. Who's this? Hey, maybe we show a little respect to somebody in the Chelmsford High School Hall of Fame, okay? <laughs> someone's, done, someone's done some research, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad he got out on that one because I feel the second question might have been... <laughs> he might not have known the answer. <laughs> Sometimes I think less is more. <laughs> but that was a good one. Thank you, Jerry. Good to uh, talk to Jerry. I've talked to Jerry a lot lately, huh? Jeez. Seems like it. Did it load up, Dave? Load up. Hello. Hey, it's Jeff Nadeau. Hey, Jeff. Wow. How you doing? How's that stupid mother of yours, all right? I've been talking about my mama. Yes, I've been talking about your mama, Jeff. about my mother. Yes, I have. Well, I'd like to see if you'll say it to my face and see what happens. Sure, yeah, I'm open to that. Yeah, right now. Oh, go check, swing on by. Swing on by, swing on by, Jeff. (laughs) Well, you should say something and see how we react. Uh, She's uh, 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 really stupid, Jeff. How's that? I'm... Really angry right now. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, you, yeah. you do get angry. I, I had a feeling you might be. He gets angry. He, <laughs> he does get angry. That, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll get really angry. One more time, and I might get really pissed. <laughs> I mean. Nah, that's some tough talk. You don't want to tangle with that guy. I'm going to say, Jeff, you still there? I'm still here. Waiting she's, for you. She's kind of a cunt. I'm just going to say. Oh, oh I don't mean though. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm about to just rip a phone book. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Now that's angry. That's wow. heated. That's also very powerful. <laughs> I realize you do that. Well, I bet you regret it now that you've upset him. Uh, I, I, I should have said that. I'm sorry. I apologize, Jeff. And to his lovely mother. Hello. <laughs> Cricket baby. This is the American dream, Dustin Rose. Wow. You, sir? Wow. From the grave. Hall of Famer, I'm sure. Two right, wrestling dude? greats on this show today. Who's the other one? Brandon Dustin Walker. Rose, the American oh, Dream. I'm up here in the Pearl Gates, baby. You are down there in that earthly realm. Kirk, baby, I want to tell you something coming from the king, as they say, of the common man. You're the John Kirk, Amos baby, five you picking up all them Mina fans? <laughs> no, now that you you're say it. picking up yeah. all them Spring <laughs> Theme fans. Can you talk more like John Amos, a, John Amos caller okay. or no? But, Dusty, is John Amos in the room is John with, you right with you tonight, Dusty, or no? No, this is just me, Kirk Baby. Are you me, sure? The we are, Dustin, Rose. Dusty, why don't you, Dusty, to you? Dusty, why don't you take a quick break just one more time and see if John Amos is there, just for argument's sake. I will check to see if John Amos is here, baby. Yeah, go ahead. Give me quick. One second. Sure, no problem. No, he isn't here, well, but oh, come oh, on. Oh, here, the macho man, Randy <laughs> Savage. Wow. Uh, well, okay. How are you, Kirk? Ooh, ah, I'm yeah. fine, Randy. Nice to talk to you as well. Yeah, good evening. 
Yeah, I'm here, and I'd like to say a little, little something about your support for Cupcake. Yeah. Okay. See, I like Cupcake, and you know something? I can look into somebody's eyes. Like when I looked in the Hulkster's eyes, and I saw those eyes. Those eyes lusted Elizabeth. I yeah. remember that. I remember that. I yeah. look into Cupcake's eyes. I look into Cupcake's eyes, and I just see destruction. Yeah. It's kind of when I look into Blind Mike's eyes, and I just don't see a thing. Yeah. But anyway, Kirk... I know Dusty wanted to talk to you. Hold on. I don't want to talk to Dusty anymore. Thank you. Have a good evening, Randy and Dusty. Goodbye. Randy from Beyond the Grave sounds a little different. I thought you said something a little bit like Randy Savage. No, it wasn't bad. At times. Yeah, it was was a little hit or miss. I would agree. (laughs) Go ahead. (laughs) What the fuck? Someone enjoying the program. Okay. Hello? Hello? Good evening. Can you hear me? We can hear you fine. Good evening. Okay, cool. Um, Kirk, I wanted to know, um, can you give me an update on the case? Um, um, I know you have two cases going on right now. You have the Dr. Dan one, mm-hmm. and you have something else going on that's um, that's true. secret. That's true. You got, you uh, got that. Maybe a third one. You got yeah, that right. You yeah, got that right. Tell me. Uh, the Dr. Dan one is <laughs> going to come out. I promise it will come out in the fall. That I can promise you. Okay, Awesome. Which fall yeah. cannot be specific on, but it will come out in a fall. Which, what did you say? Which fall? Well, we, you know, you know uh, what's your name, caller? I'm sorry. Leaves will be changing. My name is Teresa. Teresa. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I, 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 we've got plenty of, we've got a lot of stuff going on this fall. That's all. But we will, we will get it done. I mean, the thing with this particular story, as with others, is like we even saw it over the last, what, 48 hours, Dave? Mm-hmm. You know, somebody else comes in and tells us it's just, it's, it's sort of never ending. But we're going to put it together, I promise. Oh yeah, I've I've seen so many bits and pieces, and I'm like, this is gonna be crazy well, when it does come out. We'll see. We hope so. Like, well, it, yeah, it will. All right. Well, thank you. Uh, I'm the- bye bye. Jesus, you're cool, Dave. Well, thank you for the call. Seen bits and pieces where? I mean, we've alluded to stuff like on like the case Twitter. Oh, oh, you don't oh, follow oh, Mike, oh, but oh. we you know we do. I- <laughs> Unbelievable, Dave. No. Doesn't it's, shock me. I no, certainly do. Fun. I thought you can look it up. Unsubscribe, dude. <laughs> Un- fucking unsubscribe. Just focus right on one specific unsubscribe. Patriot. Have shit. Justin look up everyone that follows the case. I'm on that list somewhere. Have who do it? Remember Justin fucked up the thing. Uh, never mind. What, oh, with the uh, <laughs> oh, Will Kane. <laughs> yeah, that was his last act on the show. It was. Craig just texted me. Chris Clummer is still a Patreon subscriber. <laughs> yeah. Is that true? I told you. He I, is. Still? I think. I, oh, I don't know that. He, I assume he is, but yes. Mike, oh, I got you. Mike is so rattled about this whole thing. I told you. No, I told. I was right. I told you. You're... Take it easy, Mike. I just want, I just want someone to say I was right. I was about so what? <laughs> it doesn't matter. There's a story Gilda Radner told. Uh, she had this dream where she was in Lauren's office and she was looking around and she finally found something in his desk and it was a note that, that uh, Lauren had written and it said, I really like Gilda Radner. That was the dream that she had. She was just searching for that <laughs> approval so much. So I, I can like, relate to that. Like, 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 like this, like, it doesn't have to be anybody. Just anybody. Just anyone. Him. Yeah, it doesn't have to be someone. Yeah. Right. I like. Some I like nameless, Mike. faceless person. Well, I like. Bly, I like uh, the Blind Mike Project. I Thank like you. why you're laughing. I go to blindmike.net all the time. I appreciate. Yes. It. If I answer, if I if I if I lo- let me know immediately if I have my subscription, if I will immediately renew. We will. Yes, thank you. I won't to say anything. Well, I would, no, I, I'll I, be too I, scared. I, no, I, I, you know. Craig will text me, but I'll yes. say, well, I, let me know. It was a mistake. Well, tell Dave, and then I'll, I'll take care of <laughs> it. Right. Thank you. All right, Dave. One or two more. Okay. We're going to talk about Milton's in a second, too. Jeez. Kirk. Yes. Ooh. Craig isn't on much. Real quick, on that. I like thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, the guy that calls in 18th time, long time, he's hilarious every time. I don't know who that is. On but top okay. of that, mm-hmm. I'm a big culinary guy. My mother watches my daughter four days a week. Mm-hmm. I'm four years old. Oh, loser. Constantly yeah. babysits, cooks all the time. Jesus My father Christ. won't touch the grill because that's women's work. He doesn't even know how to make a, wow. a can of soup. So, oh, hang out with this guy. guy. Wait, wait, person. Where do you live? Right. So, essentially, Dave, what Mike is doing is shaming somebody who's completely innocent in this whole climber situation. Mm-hmm. Chris is lovely. Spouse. No, I'm certainly yeah. not. I said I completely it understood. Shock me. But why even bring it up? Uh, because you asked how I knew. How you knew they what? Were, they were unhappy with me. But maybe they're unhappy with. Maybe she just doesn't like the podcast anymore. Well, that seems like unusual timing. I don't think she ever not listened. That unusual. I, mean, I, don't think, point, I don't think she ever listened. Some point, all of us are like, "Fuck it." I mean, she's, maybe she's at a breaking point. All right, then maybe you're right. Maybe, maybe that's she's not a Quincy fan. Maybe that's what happened. Well, I always liked her a lot. She seemed like a really nice person. As do I. Yes, yes. She's I said I totally supportive. understand. Alba's done worse. Believe me. No, that's true. God knows. <laughs> deal with her at Saco. Yes. Totally blasted. Hello. 
No more heroin, though, Hi, right, Kirk. for Alba? No. Good. Hello. Hi, Kirk. So I know Cullinane is a pussy mm-hmm. and not going to West Virginia. Right. But you need to make a Rocky Four entrance into the ring. Okay, we'll do that. Thanks I'm for the call. I have, no, I have no patience. Yes, I'm going to do a, a James Brown song and dance routine <laughs> into the ring. Cupcake. This is everything is a joke. Here's the problem. So we'll, what happened when Apollo did that? Didn't end well. Fucking died. Yeah. Like, well, yeah, you, that's the whole point. Is Apollo? That, that's what Alex Bennett's going to do. Right. You don't want to get. Caught. She treated like a uh, Apollo treated like it was a fucking show. Yeah. Drago was there to fucking fight. You know, uh, Cupcake is Drago. Right. Jesus. All right, one more, Dave. I can't take that. Kirk. Yes. What are the chances Bennett takes a dive and just can say goes this thing and snakes Portnoy like she snaked you? I have heard this speculated. Mm. I will say this. I have more faith in Alex Bennett than that. I'm not a fan of hers. I don't like her. I hope she gets you know her nose ripped off, but I don't think she's going to take a dive. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. If it, then does, she then, you she know does, I, she shouldn't get the money if she does. I agree with that. That is a fact. And calling in, you got this uh, Minahan across America thing figured out. Oh, yet? it's easy. It's a lo- yeah. Don't worry about it. It's a lock. It's okay. a lock. It's, it's a lock. lock. It's Great. easy. It's right. a little catchphrase. Yeah. Nice. All right. All right. See you later. One more, and then we should sell locks with Cullinane's face on them. It's a good idea. Mm, love that idea. Some fun Not merch. Yeah. Hey, Kirk. Yes, I was always looking for a lock. <laughs> I could see that. Yeah. School lockers, all the yeah. kids will be buying them. Oh, kids love that. Love yeah. this show. I don't think she'll even have an opportunity to fake an injury in this. I think she's going to get It'll be that quick. a shot to the gut and then one to the head, and she is out. <laughs> It'd be great. It'd be great. It'd be great. Yeah. It'd be great. Hello. I haven't heard a blind Mike commit to a leg yet. Oh, that's true. I haven't heard me what? A leg to Minute Fan Across America. Well, Mike hates his project, as you know, caller. Right, yes. No, I haven't committed that due to my disdain for it. Will you walk 10 miles for this? Are, are you, 10 are miles? You gonna, like, 10 miles. Hornfield? Uh, it would depend what time of year. Well, it's a fall. Beautiful time of year. He's not even listening to when the event is going to take know, place. Just, I don't <laughs> know. I, I'm looking at who's planning it. So obsessed with this fucking <laughs> subscription from one person. <laughs> that he was wrong <laughs> about. <laughs> Shit. I wasn't wrong about it. You didn't listen to me. Her no, life no, in a COVID in fucking Mississippi. I wasn't wrong show. about it. No one listened to me. Jesus. This is what ha- I'm standing up on this one because this is what happens every time. Mike thinks North Dakota is on the Pacific Coast. It's never what I... I it's been twisted. Fake news. Well, go, let me hear, let me hear I won't allow it Let me hear it. Let me hear it. Go ahead. What? What's the what? Set the record straight. Oh, I said about the Clemmer thing. I've yes! said it ten times already. What is it? Is it someone in his family unsubscribed? Okay, well, not his dad. He's dead. Yeah, I suspect so his mother doesn't. I subscribe. didn't want to put the person out there. Well, they already knew it was stupid. <laughs> well, then that, right, that's fine. Wait, so they had two subscriptions? Damn straight. That's a real fucking story. Damn yeah, straight. That's very strange. That's fucked up. It's a username and password. So why aren't they sharing? I don't want to speculate anything. But that's the only Who knows? Place. Well, it's they can try place. to be nice to Mike. Yes. Oh, pit, yeah, pit. yeah. Yeah. Well, that I, I, that's right. that's why <laughs> I'm aware of that. I don't think she was a big fan of the podcast. That's why I noticed. Well, Craig noticed it, but it stood out to me. Go ahead. I don't know what to say, Dave. Wrap yeah. this up. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> One more. We can't end with that. Kirky. What's up? I just want to say I love you. Okay. Uh, you guys do a okay, okay, okay. Oh, we're good. Uh, okay, okay. Dave, uh, no, just fucking hang up on this person. I, I, I do not need that in my life. Jesus Christ, I missed it. You were saying how great I was. I oh, don't, oh, I don't oh, need that. Could have been nice. Store for men is Milton's. That's what's nice. I got my Milton's on right now. My ferrety shirt on right now. Mike's got his Milton's on. A uh, bunch of summer stuff right now. Summer wraps up, and then you get some great stuff in the fall coming out too. But the suit event is going on right now. Buy one, get one free suit. Man, I, I suspect I'll buy Milton's on on. Friday. I was going to actually, actually ask you that. You're going to suit up for this because you're a manager role. This isn't a, a biz- It is a business trip. I know, but I, uh, more ring attire. I think, like sort of like uh, you know, I, I put this way, I could be the cut man if needed. That's kind of how but, I saw you. But she's not going to need it, right? I'd go suit. That's she might point. break her hand. I'd go suit. Nah, I don't know. You I got, got enough like got, wacky guys around. Bring with the wacky fucking clothes. suit with me then. Oh, there. that's true. You are kind of the pro among us. I'll think of, about it. I'll think about it. There's enough wacky people. Maybe yeah. I'll break out my mil- my Wilbur suit again. That's not a bad call. I'll think about it. Fair I'll consider enough. it. Maybe I'll bring it. Okay. It's a pain in the packet, though. Maybe I'll bring it. You know what? For Milton's, I will. You think I should, guys? I think, I you, think should. you should. Yeah. Okay. Fine. Then maybe I will. Uh, but I mean, I'm not. Look, between all these other barstool people on the other side, I, there's a chance I'll get in a fight at this thing. 
I, I wouldn't put it past you. So he puts their hands up, then that's a call to arms, right? Oh, you're, you'll defend yourself. I have sure. to do yeah. that. Yeah. I have to do that. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, okay, so maybe I'll wear that. Uh, buy one, get one free suit event that's going on right now. Bunch of great suits. Calvin Klein, Ralph Lauren, all the great ones. Social Shore Plaza, Braintree, Chestnut Hill, Square Chestnut Hill. And now open at the Burlington Mall. I will say this. It's not Milton's fault. I drove by the Burlington Mall today. You know what store is next to Milton's when you walk in? What's that? Bennett's Sandwich Shop. Is that good? What's well, Bennett's. Wow. What do you think Didn't of that, even, Mike? Wow. What do you think of that? Symbolic. I'm not going to blame anybody at Milton's for that. That's not their fault. I, right. I'm like, it's the same family, is it? Can we look into that? No, but even still, you'd think Bill would kind of be on their ass. About what are you looking that. at? What are you, what are you saying, Dave? Nothing. I'll look into it for you. Think I, it's the same I, family? I don't think it's the same family, but... Even still, I think you get rid of it. What a fluky thing to experience. It's chilling. Yeah. It's, yeah. All, it's a small world, that's it all. Is. It's just a, just a parenthetical. It that's is. it. Uh, go to Milton's right now. Either way, the gr- biggest supporters of the men, the fans, and this show, more than anybody put together, the great, great, great people at Milton's. Go to Milton's right now. Get your great clothes. Mm. Anything else? Nope. All right, so this week we are back Tuesday, and then I don't know what's going on after that. Right? Oh, really? I'm going to be in West, uh, West Virginia. Yeah, we don't know. When are you leaving? We don't know who's going to be there. there. They're telling me there's Thursday. no podcasting equipment for you. How is that possible? If I have to give you stuff to take that, by no, yourself, no, no, that's no, 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 no. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. It's a no-go. Yeah. yeah. I think Can't it'd be you, fun to see how you handle it. You know, put all the tech poorly. together yourself. I, 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 I'm incapable of handling it. Can't you like put, put me up at like some radio station where I can record from there or something? Like a room or something? I could definitely try to do that, yeah. I've done that before. Yeah, yeah I could definitely In Huntington, do that. Huntington somewhere? Yeah. But I need somebody with me, though. Uh, you would need... From Barstool, you think? Just in general. No, I, I think know. the radio station would help you out. But, oh, you're going to need like... How, you don't want to talk to like Big Cat or something. I'm doing a monologue from there? Yeah. So that seems unlikely. <laughs> yeah. So that's out. Yep. Oh, there's going to be Barstool producers and shit down there. Yeah, but they're not going to like, go fucking some radio. No, but they're they, focused on the live yeah, stream. Yeah, which I understand. That's program. the most important yeah. thing is they're there for Rough and Right. They're not there for Kirk Minahan show. Yeah. Why is, is Eric a Is everyone down there necessary all day? No, you know? none of them are necessary. Well, that's what I'm saying. But that doesn't mean anything. That can help me out. <laughs> what, what, what is Eric? What's Eric going to say? Uh, she just asked if there's any plans for you on the broadcast yet. Yeah. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not committing to that yet. I mean, am I getting financially? It'd be nice. What's going on with that? Do we know when in the f- in the night the fight is? It's gonna be way up there, right? I gotta imagine it's later. Yeah. It feels like it should be the main event now. Yeah, but sometimes they put those earlier because there's fatigue. Because <clears throat> these things are like they're three minute <clears throat> fights and they're just they're kind of repetitive at times. I mean, little people fighting. I like that. I wouldn't be surprised. I yeah. enjoy that. Yeah. 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 Um. Okay. Well, yeah. Whatever they need me to do, I'm happy. I'm yeah. a team player. Although everyone hates me there, I'm a team player. Right. But once again, Mike, I got that office buzzing. Well, you certainly did. It's been a while yeah. since you've it's had been a couple a, of years, really, I think. Yeah. Ruffled anyone's feathers. Yeah. Well, the last time, oddly enough, was around <laughs> Alex Bennett. I guess it wasn't people in the office. Had her back. Right, it was Portnoy, yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. People David. forget. Yeah, it's short memories. Short memories. Yep. Short memories. BlindMike.net. Go there right now. They lost a key subscriber today. So, please, <laughs> please help them out. I always regret saying things. I that, say things because I think, you know, oh, this will be funny to talk about. It is funny. And then I regret Believe it. me, it's funny. That's a good small business, though, Dave. They care about each customer. You're right. We about sure that. do. Yeah. I, mean, right about I don't that. know if we lost a subscriber to this show. I have no fucking idea. They know no. each and every subscriber by name. By right. name, by credit card number, <laughs> by address. That's right. By and we'll eat. find you <laughs> if you leave us. I think I know where Mike's going after this. As a yes. Of Craig's going to pick him up and off Hello. they go. Hello. <laughs> little trip up north. He's got some business to take I'm care sorry. of. I'm sorry. I know my eyes don't work well. <laughs> Could you read this for me? This must be a mistake, right? <laughs> I will watch you resubscribe right now if you like. We, be, a, be a shame if something happened. <laughs> <laughs> we will watch an episode of Quincy with you if you'd like in your home right now. Whatever the people want. Pick a comedian. Go. Who do you got? So are you taping this week, anything or no? Uh, just did a uh, Better Call Saul recap and preview okay. for the finale. Yeah. So uh, time permitting, I'll do a recap for the finale tomorrow. Okay. Quincy on Tuesday, live stream Wednesday. Uh, next Why You Laughing episode is King of Comedy, yep. Kings of Comedy. Yeah. Will be the free episode. And I don't know the wow. Patreon episode yet. I'll it's a wild recording card. it this week. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Dave, anything you need to promote for the show or no? I have no promotion. Okay, so we're yep. back Tuesday morning with Mike Erie. Correct. All right, we'll talk to you then. Right. Goodbye. Ugh. Thanks, Mike. Thank you.